Hello, people. <laughs> Hello, people. I'm still warming up the tea. This is a white tea, so I don't want to oversteep it. So we're going to give it like four minutes, and then and then we'll go. He did a really good job styling this game. I was thinking about this last night. Or maybe today, like we'll comment when when we've started up again. Um, but yeah, even if you just like look at screenshots like this, like they look really good, right? <laughs> For what it is. Inscription is your game of the year. Um, I have not gotten that far in it yet, probably. Like, I still don't totally understand the game, so it's hard to say anything about it. Um, I don't think I have any other candidates for game of the year. This year has been a really bad year for video games, I feel like. I mean, okay, there's been some okay. I don't I don't mean that everything was terrible, right? We just recently played Bonfire Peaks um, that had good puzzles in it and stuff, but it also wasn't like, like a game of the year game is like, you want to jump up and say like, that's game of the year. And Bonfire Peaks did not do that for me. Um, so like Chess Former was kind of interesting. Um, what's the other frickin' game? What's the other chess game? That was pretty okay. Uh, uh, Pawn Barian. That was pretty okay. But it's not a game of the year exactly, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay, what are we playing? Inscription. Dyson Sphere program. Dyson Sphere program was almost game of the year, but I felt like I got cucked in the end game because it promised, like all of Dyson Sphere program is, is about scaling up to an amazing galactic civilization scale, right? And in reality, it only really scales up to planet scale. And then everything after that is kind of empty, kind of like No Man's Sky. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe if they ever fix that, it'll work better for me. Um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, Slipways. Slipways was good. I helped fund Slipways, so I should definitely have that on my game of the year list. I never played Europa Universalis. I definitely know people who were super into that game. I just never played it. Haven't played Deathloop. So I, as a human being who has lived for a long time, I'm honestly kind of grossed out by the Arcane Studios games, by the way that they do violence and the way that they, um, you know, something like Deathloop, it's an attempt to justify wanting to go around and kill a bunch of people by like, oh, it's not real. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of, there's something gross about it that's different. Like, okay, in Apex Legends, you run around and 
you shoot people, but like they do it in a better way. <laughs> like Deathloop just seems really gross. I don't want to play it. Can Noita be your game of the year if you discovered it two years late? Well, I believe that Einstein says that space-time is relative, so I think the answer is yes. Okay, let us, let us go. Let us go. Puzzle game that uses relativistic physics. Um, it definitely could be an interesting idea to play with. Just keep in mind, it might be very difficult to do a good job. The vegetable was lettuce. So cards, see, I don't know. Can I see the status of my dude? Like what items? I probably burned all my items, right? So backpack gives me items. This fuses cards. I could fuse cards later. I think I want to get cards and then fuse. I don't know what that is. W. Ah, but like, can I see, would my power-ups be here if I had them? Is this, is this like some other actual player? Does it do like some network shit? Or is this emulating that? That would be actually be cool if it was not, it wouldn't be that cool, but it'd be a little bit cool. Except there would be like a penis there or something. Yosin Kaminsky. Okay, well. Okay, what would we want to combine? If we go to, well, we're gonna get new cards, but if the new cards are not good, I still don't fucking know how to use this. Like, as far as I know, this guy got hit and nothing happened. His HP just went down to one. Maybe I got confused, because I get confused by everything in this game, but... Um, uh, 
I mean, maybe merging Mole Man's stuff onto somebody who has attack points, right? Like, what if I merge the Mole Man stuff onto Opossum? Oh, but he, they won't get Mole Man's life. That kind of sucks. So this this actually sucks if you don't have 6 HP, because he'll literally just run back and forth and block all the damage. Um, like, honestly, putting the adder insta-death power onto something that only costs one to summon sounds good, right? Like, like if I could put that on Pack Rat or on uh, on Opossum actually, because I get Opossum for two bones, right? So like, if I put that there, then I can play this guy like a lot, and I can drop him in and like insta kill dudes. That seems like a good play. Have you ever thought about integrating network player interactions? I, not really, not seriously. It, that's more like a that game company thing to do than a than a me thing. All right. I d that's going to be my play unless we get something better. Is we're going to move that onto possum, or even fucking wolf? Except wolf does a lot of damage and costs a lot. To summon. What are these? Are those my teeth? Alright. So we're going to go this way. I, I think he's joking. He's joking, people. It's a Cthulhu card. I mean, we kind of have to get this one, right? Turkey vulture. Like, this is good just because it's damage three plus flight, right? It's just eight bones is a lot. Pronghorn. He moves and does double damage. All right, I think I think we're taking Cthulhu. I have no idea what the hell that is. Okay, uh, Adder. Oh, but we don't. Ah, shit. We don't have the Bones guys here. Oh, maybe it'll give me a separate list. Let's see. How does it decide? So this guy really wants the power-ups. Okay, I think we put it on Possum. This is, this is the way. Of course, this guy is two bones also. Oh, only the cards with power-ups, I see. That's why we didn't see possum. Okay, let's, let's try it. Death possum. Like, just this thing where he's, like, in the dark there. It works better than you would think. I don't know. The eyes are a little too... Okay, 
Okay, let's see if we can figure something out from this one. Wait, this is closed again. Okay. So what are we saying here? These cards... Like, I don't... Like, okay. Oh, this these are in my hand. Why did that not... Oh, I see. Okay, so... Here, I think we just do this. I don't know. So this card is his, and it does a damage when struck and leaves a tail in its place and goes to the right. So am I trying to block that? Or is it always to the right, to the right? I don't know why that goes always to the right. So just this way. Um, I don't fucking understand then. Does it like block this guy from coming on? No, because it, it plays them all first. So that's zero. This is one. So maybe somehow this guy can't come on the board, and so this does his one damage? I, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand how this is supposed to enable me to ever do any damage. Because these, these cards just play, and then my guys attack, right? Or do my guys attack first, and then they play? I don't know. No, obviously my guys don't attack first, because that would be 4 HP right here. Instead, it's 1. Dude, I, I just have no idea. Why is that 2? So this gets a damage, and this gets a damage... But this doesn't get... Why does this get to do a damage, but this one doesn't? Is it because this guy moves to the right? So then I shouldn't attack him. I didn't really want more cards in my deck right now. All right. Now what? Ants. I don't I don't know what worker ant does. We have to go look it up in the book. What's the one? Okay, this guy attacks two directions. Bing bing. So he takes that guy out and does one point of damage here. This guy will do another point. I don't know if this just fails or if it goes around to the other side of the board. I guess this fails because he's at the right side. Can I get minus? 
why doesn't this guy do three points of damage? To me, I don't, I don't fucking know. All right. Why does that only three? Why doesn't this do three HP right there? Does this like block an HP from anyone in his lane? That could be. Oh, also this guy will go, we don't want to block. We actually don't want to hit. Oh, okay. So this guy hits this guy. He goes to the right. This guy hits him then. And then this guy hits for three. That's two. Okay, this must be absorb one damage from someone. So this guy's doing two. This guy is doing one. This guy is doing one, but it's getting blocked. But then this guy would be doing one. That would be four. We're only doing three. That's two because we kill this guy instead of hitting. Wait, what? Why did that? Okay. I don't want actually more cards. We still haven't done Bullfrog Squirrel, by the way. All right. Let's go. My free bone. Oh, I still have bones. Uh, moose buck. What is this? In the direction inscribed in the sigil. What direction? Just little things like this in this game are so fucked. Like, what direction? What? How am I supposed to... What does that even mean? Okay, so this is Mole, Mole Jr. So I, I basically need to start pouring out damage to this bro. Alright, we're gonna... Um, Man, see, I can't. Do I spend my bones? Because I, I can't sacrifice to get pack rat out. So I just have to tank damage. I have to tank three damage, which would be horrible. Wait! Oh shit. 
I thought that guy had instant death on him, which is why I did that. I, uh... I, uh, d didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Okay, I'll play Pack Rat next. Okay, so he moves right? Or left, he moves left. Okay. So we're gonna go squirrel. I'm gonna put pack rat. Frozen grab just the ice cube. Maybe when that breaks, the dude comes out, right? Okay, so now I have enough for Rattler as well, who uh, is going to start eating away at the mole men. The bones are their money. Frozen opossum. I'm gonna put frozen opossum in front of this guy. Wait, what's this? Raven! See, he's starting to get damage out on the board. See, at this point, I have no ability to get cards out. This, like, sucks ass, right? This is the part of this game that I hate. All right. So frozen opossum is going to block for five and then. Okay. So then one of these guys dies and I'll be able to get my opossum. This isn't my good opossum though. It's going to take me forever to kill this guy. I think I'm dead. I think I just lose. I mean, I can block with a squirrel for one turn. But I'm still going to take two more damage. The fuck does this game want me to do? Okay, I can play Opossum now. And then maybe I can draw a good card here and I can sacrifice. If I sacrifice this, will it make the Opossum? I wish I could see my fucking deck, guys. Problem is, I cannot prevent from getting this damage, so I, I must do some damage. <gasps> okay. That is what we needed. We're going to play this. There. Overkill damage. Okay. So Moose Buck dies next turn. Um. I hope. And my rattler does damage. All right. Okay. 
So, elk. Cthulhu, bell ringer. I mean, I think we have to try this. He's got three health. Does he like do damage every time I ring the bell? Let's just try it. I mean, I think, I think we kind of won anyway, but. Two. Is that based on turn number? How many bells you rang before you put him out? Okay. We'll save our opossum, but I mean, I think, I think we're good. Skunk. Okay, we could play an opossum anytime we want. We have a lot of damage coming out, Ant Queen. An ant is created in your hand. The number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. I see. So, cards get ant power. Alright, well... You know, though, I don't, I don't want to play any of that. <clears throat> okay. How many ants are on my side of the table? Does this just mean four? Or like, okay, wait. Does this mean these ones are in my hand? So this is three here. Apparently not. Well, okay, there's also how much damage is he doing, right? Like, this is weird. So anything I leave up here, it's the same as if he plays, right? No, it's not the same. I don't get it. Yeah. So this guy is doing two because there are two ants back here. This guy's not doing anything. Oh, he can't move. Right, if I do this, I don't know why that was more. I really don't. All right. I really probably should have left all the cards in there. Because I really don't want this many cards in my hand. Number of ants on the board, okay. I want golden pelt. How many do I have? 
I really don't have much else to spend teeth on, right? Okay, do I merge cards or do I get items? I have a card that gives me items. Um, what? Is, this looks like boss, right? The so I could I could merge cards, which I kind of need to do. Then we have boss battle, but I don't know what this thing is. What is the computer with the question mark in it? I mean, something with a card. Pelt seller. Oh, this is pelt seller? They will buy pelts and give you super cards. I guess I want to go that way then. Black goat, squirrel, pliers. I mean, that's a good, but this is probably better, I don't know. Squirrel is actually a valuable card. Alright. Alright, the enemy has poops. Will my insta death opossum? Um, will it still kill people if it does zero? Raven Egg Alpha Raven Egg. So I want to kill the frickin' Raven Eggs before they hatch. Okay, we're gonna play Mole Man on defense and then Opossum on offense. So we're gonna go Squirrel. We're gonna Mole Man that. Because he's gonna just block shit. Um, do I opossum the alpha? Because Mole Man can block the aerial attacks for a little bit. So I think we just tank the alpha uh, a little bit. And then we go ding-a-ding-dang, my ding-along, wing-long. Wait, why didn't I get to attack with the opossum? Oh, did, did it do the damage first? I never understand this game. Okay, pack rat. Does two damage. I could squirrel. I could squirrel, squirrel. That'll give me two bones. I'll get pack rat out. That'll give me an item to replace the squirrel I just spent. Pack rat will kill alpha. Oh, is that returns one damage on the porcupine? Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. I get it. I get it. All right, squirrel. Squirrel, pack rat, we 
got another black goat. Excellent. Ding a ding dang, my dang a dong ling long. Raven. Oh man. Mole man is now down. Okay. We got some black goats, so. Ant Queen. That's kind of a shitty card for me to have right now. I mean, I'd, I'd die next turn if I don't do something. I think. I'm going to take two, four, five, six damage. Um, I'm going to do two, so I'll take four damage. I actually won't quite die. Now, if I black goat and get Ant Queen out, she's not going to fucking do any damage. She's going to do one damage. I could kill Porcupine. And then the damage will be returned unto Ant Queen. Or we could have her fighting one of these flying dudes. Which takes two turns. But removes two from the dan- yeah, okay. So she's gonna fight one of the ravens. I guess. Oh fuck! Black Goat is a one-bagger. I forget about this. That's horrible. Well, um, fuck it. You know what? Okay. So I have a lot of bones. If I squirrel, I could play Black Goat and then Ant Queen. Um, I don't die yet? No, but I wanted more of a lead before I worry about it. So do I squirrel or do I take a chance that I get something that goes for bones here? I just have too many cards. I don't think Bones is a good play. All right, this sucks, but we're gonna do this. Squirrel, Black Goat, Ant Queen. Worker Ant. Oh, right, it gives me another card. So Worker Ant will do two damage, which means he could kill this Raven. Oh, but it's fucking... Okay, never mind. I can't play him yet. Oh, Ant Queen doesn't even do... She does zero. Literally zero. I cannot really do any damage to the enemy this next turn. Okay, so I have to literally kill everything or I lose. I don't think it's possible. Because these guys will attack over, so I, I have to kill this one. Okay, that'll happen. Have to kill this one, that won't happen.
Yeah, no, I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. Okay, since the Ant Queen is worth zero, I could use her as a sacrifice. To get the worker ant on the board. <laughs> ant queen gets one damage for every other ant. I know, but it won't matter. I can only give her one damage. Which means she won't kill this guy. Unless playing this ant gives me another ant, but I don't think it does. Yeah doesn't. There's no way to kill this guy. So I take that damage so I'm dead. Unless I can somehow do a lot more damage than I am dealt, which doesn't look possible because the rows are all filled and I don't like have flyers and stuff. So, okay, squirrel. If I squirrel, there's no way to win. Right? I squirrel. I work her ant. Um... Ant Queen does one. Worker Ant probably does one or two. I don't understand why this isn't one. I don't understand why Ant Queen doesn't count as one. Um, but so Squirrel just loses the game for me, right? Quit and replay. No, we're not. We're not quit and replay wuss bags here. We play it to the death. I'm going to draw because I still have this goat and the goat can take over the ant queen. Doo doo symbol takes power. Yeah, but these guys don't have the doo doo symbol. Or uh, oh, maybe it just doesn't draw it. So why isn't this green then if it's doo dooed from 1 down to 0? Is that just a bug? It's supposed to be green because of the doo doo. Wolf. Okay. Wolf Blitzer. Still, we can't win. I don't think. Oh, maybe we can. Mm. I mean, we're not going to die. It looks like we maybe have three HP left. Is that true? Two, three, four, six. All right. So we get Wolf gets this guy down to four. Um, like, we just die. Unless I can do both wolf and worker ant. If I get three blood out of this, does that pay for both of these? Or is it just three blood? Okay, wait, this guy dies no matter what. So it's two, four, five. Um, minus two is three, I still lose. Unless I can do an additional point of damage somehow. Wolf gets pooped on. No, Wolf gets pooped on from three to two. Oh, Raven has three. Ah. Yeah, we can't do anything here. Let's find out about this. I don't feel like that gave me any extra blood. Nope. All right. Well, we learned about that. GG's.
I wasted all my items. I should have just gone down. Elk fawn. Cockroach. Like, I'm already way past the point. Like, I have too many cards in my hand, right? Like, I'm just making things worse. Okay, well, if I'd had this to use my goat blood for... Mirror... So it gets the, uh, the attack of whatever it's facing, maybe? Well, that could be useful. Un oh, fuck. Dude, this interface. I don't even know what I just picked. All right. Child 13. I mean, the reason to get this is to combo it with other things, right? Gek must be the other character, right? Why isn't he talking to me? Like, why does Gek look so different? Pack rat, amalgam. I think it's got to be child 13. All right. Plus one attack. It doesn't matter. I've got so goddamn many cards. It it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter. Child thirteen though. If I get this guy on the board. Well, but then he just gets attacked later. It's not so good. Mole man. Could be good. Yeah, if we're going to sacrifice this, if we get the chance, then Mole Man is better. Okay, we can cry about cards. We don't care about that. We want to go this way. We need an easier fight. Oh, we got our Child 13 up. That's great. Uh, raven egg, elk fawn, raven egg. Okay. Let's get a squirrel out. Let's get our child 13. And then not do anything. Ow. So I guess that was him trying to move. So I can squirrel, pack rat, and attack the elk fawn. Right. I can squirrel. Right, and then pack rat. Boom. And I got a frozen opossum because of pack rat. Wait, why is child 13... Did he get more awesome because I sacrificed him? What? Now he flies and does two points of damage. Okay. That's pretty good. Ow! Wait, why did they get to attack? They got to upgrade and attack at the same fucking time. Alright, that sucks. And my super card's dead. I can't do anything, guys. I'm dead again. 
I don't understand this game. It's too fucking hard. Like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to win this at all. Okay, I have this thing. I can block one of the ravens. No, because he'll attack over him because he's fucking wings. So, he can go here. Um... Blocking left isn't gonna... Why can't I see the hit points? It's fucking... The most important thing right now is the hit points, and I can't see it. Alright. Um... I think I'm like two hit points from dying or something, right? One. Pressing A. Ah, okay. Two HP and I'm dead. So if either of these guys hits me, I'm dead. Oh, except no, because I get two back from Pack Rat. Except that... Does this guy attack first? I think so. So I get two... But then this guy's gonna attack also. So this is fucking four, six, four. I have to block three HP of damage. Which I don't think happens. I don't think it's possible. Um, I could put this guy here, and then we could learn, maybe. I could draw here, and we can see if we're able to sacrifice. Just let me do this first! Why can't I pull this, like, before- Oh, Mole Man! Mole Man fucking saves my ass. Alright. So. Here's what we do. We're gonna learn if we can sacrifice this. If not, we'll sacrifice Pack Rat for Mole Man. Because even though Pack Rat's awesome, we need to live through this round. <laughs> right? Okay. I think you can sacrifice that, right? So. Nope. Alright, so. I basically have to sacrifice Pack Rat, which gets me up to five bones. Sorry, Pack Rat, you're awesome. Um, Alright. And then maybe he kills this, or maybe he does a damage, but um, I think we go one, we go net one forward after this. Do I have six? No. Alright. Mole man, you're my hero. Okay, so I'm still not going to live through this round now. Okay, so now, okay, we're taking two, four, five, five damage. And we can take th two damage. So I have to do or block three damage, which again does not seem possible. Unless I can get this Rattler out. When he said extra damage carries past the guy, does that mean if I put Rattler here, he does one to this and then two to the board? Because that would keep me in the game. The thing is, I need... I need one guy to die to play this. Because uh, I can't play it yet. Um, now... If I draw something that's a one blood sacrifice, I could sacrifice Mole Man, which sucks, but then I get my bone left. And I can play that, and then I can play Rattler. If I pull something that's a zero, or... 
li runs off bones, I can also play it. Extra damage only hits the cards. That sucks. Okay, well, I would put him probably here then to kill the high HP raven. All right. So I have to do this. Stoat! My man! All right, where do I put Stoat? He does one damage. So I can take out the Sparrow this turn. And then I only take four damage. Because I can't block any of this. So it's literally bad play. Fuck you, Stoat. So now I have six. So I do these guys. It doesn't really matter which of these, I guess. Um, okay. Wait, why didn't that kill the sparrow? Why didn't that kill the sparrow? You know what? I keep looking at the damage number when I mean to be looking at the health number. Fuck. I was literally looking at the wrong number. I've done that before. That's how I lost last time, too. Use a card. This is actually a fun way to lose, though, you know. Um, to draw the cost from. I think Opossum. You want a low cost card that's easy to play. It's power and health. Mole Man, right? I mean, a two bone, six health. Problem is, I lose, I lose this guy as a sigil choice, but maybe that's fine. Fuck it. Okay, child 13. I think it's got to be child 13. Right? Because now this guy stays on the board a long time because he's got 6 HP. Wait, do I pick? So I want Bullfrog because I need to do Bullfrog Squirrel. Uh, 
I need to do the bullfrog squirrel magic spell. Oh, it's Kingfisher. Oh, it changes every time. Kingfisher, squirrel. How am I ever going to get a Kingfisher? All right, well, no bullfrog then. Fuck it. Wait, what happened? Did I not get those cards? A tribe? I don't want to be ant tribe. Yes, I wish for something else. Fucking wolf. Alright. Was that my entire deck? At the beginning? Three bloods, four bones, or a care bear. No, this is the lady that I needed the valuable thing for. I have no idea what this does. Are these costs or benefits? Let's let's see. Oh. Card bearing the sigil is counted as three blood rather than one blood. Oh. Well, how do I how do I decide where to put it? Okay, so this is like Mole Man. Oh, this is because I got this. I made a totem. On all my squirrels. Is that because it's a squirrel head? That's pretty good. All right. Flight blockers. Oh, baby. Okay. Boulder. I think we want a squirrel and then get our caged wolf out. Except nobody will hit the fucking cage. So I want to get a bullfrog out. See, this card doesn't have it, but maybe it will when I break it. Alright, Bullfrog's gonna block some of this incoming damage. Oh, I don't have my extra bones or their money anymore. Can... So Cage Wolf will not do anything for me. Stoat will? Stoat can fight this guy and kill him, I think, right? <laughs> Why didn't... 
I keep crossing in my brain what's the health and what's the other thing. How are we doing? All right, we're probably not going to die. This is just annoying, though. Okay, wolf. I need some birds. Oh, Kingfisher. Is there like a back button? Like why else is it? Okay. Kingfisher squirrel. We're just gonna fucking do this. Cause we have a spare squirrel to get the Kingfisher out. Wait, another one? So that's like wolves. So I could make wolves upgrade if I get both of these, but I can't get both, right? I, I wanna buy this. I could make squirrels upgrade, but we're gonna keep that. Dude, the interface on this game, what do I fucking do? Wait, do, do I keep that? Do I keep that other piece? Alright, so it was Kingfisher... So, I'm just going to do this. I think it was there, right? Wasn't that what it said? Kingfisher squirrel. and cup. Alright. Caged wolf. Is going to sit there and play with wolf cub for a bit. Alpha is we're gonna have to take care of. We're gonna have to sacrifice this squirrel to open this up and get the stink bug out anyway. Bullfrog blocks 
flyers. There aren't any flyers. Um, you know, ah, oh, shit. I killed, I forgot, maybe I want to keep that squirrel there. I, I assumed something would happen when I played that, and it didn't. So now I'm like, well, I want to win. Okay, so... Is that now a wolf in my hand permanently? Like what? So Alpha dies next... Oh no, he doesn't, because this shoots over him. Uh, wolf Cub dies. Wolf dies. Bullfrog does 1 HP. Um... Stoat. My man Stoat. I mean, I'm just winning. Like, winning because he runs out of cards is kind of lame. feel about the sound design it's good it's still missing some stuff that you would do in like a high production value thing no I would rather have cat than alpha dude what are you even talking about so what was campfire campfire is the upgrade we want this Cat. <laughs> Something did happen when I played Kingfisher. Hmm, okay. Um, what do I want to put the Infinity Blade onto? I could put Infinity Blade on Stoat. On Wolf. Stoat has more survivability, right? So I think we put Infinity Blade on him. <laughs> All right. Oh, we've got a flower pot. Wait, what? What do you mean you must not like the cards that I dealt you? What does that fucking mean? Did it reset my cards because I had a plant pot? That would piss me off. Alright. Mole! Pronghorn. So, uh, I think we squirrel, no matter what. And then we get stoat out off the squirrel. Now, the problem is he's only one blood, but that's fine. Right? He says that when I find a card elsewhere. But that wasn't a card, it was a potted plant. Shut up, Stoat. Now, gotta get more damage on the board. 
Okay, so if I squirrel... This guy doesn't have flyer blockage. So I could kingfisher his ass and just have a damage to offset that damage. Squirrel here. Oh, because of Stoat. You're right. I could sacrifice Stoat. Okay, so this guy as well, he can poop on someone. So why don't I have this guy poop on this guy? And then Bullfrog goes here. It's almost like I know how to play the game, almost. Wolf. See, Stoat's only worth one blood, but I could... Um, I mean, Pronghorn is going to kill Stoat soon, unfortunately. Oh no, because he's been pooped on. Never mind. I think we just play this out. Is the camera distracting? The, the ambient camera motion is not super... It's like when I try to move the camera to where I want it to be, it's like not always the way. All right, we just fucking... So Pronghorn's gonna kill Kingfisher, except no, Stoat's gonna kill him first, so play that out. I probably should have got a wolf in there to do more damage and get an extra tooth. Okay. What does that mean? Does this re-roll? Is that what it does? Turkey Vulture, Elk Fawn, we want more One Bloods. I think we take Elk Fawn. I think the plant just lets me re-roll those, right? I have full items right now, I think, don't I? Health plus two. <laughs> I mean, look, obviously Mr. Please No is the guy. Right? Okay, what?
I only have two items, actually. Alright. So the smoke gives me bones. So I can use the smoke to block Coyote. Um, I can use Squirrel to get Kingfisher out. No, I use Squirrel to get Wolf out. I want to hit that pack mule. If I capture his pack mule, does that always give me cards or does it give your opponent cards? Like, how awesome would it be if I could play pack mule and then I always get cards, you know? Always me? Are you shitting me? There's nothing that can be hooked. Oh, because there's nothing on the board. Um, I'm not sure I understood what just happened there. I hope it doesn't hook it like... Oh, draw first. Alright. So... I can play stink bug no matter what. So we're kind of okay. He can kill Coyote. Alright. Um. Okay. Mole? Is Mole worth it? I don't feel like it. Okay, I think we put the wolf down. I think we save Stoat, right? Because he's gonna he's gonna hose us, right? I, I forget how it works, but all right. No, I thought I thought he does the gold thing. Alright, well, he better do something fast. Oh, it happens now, right. So how do I... Can I play on top of the gold? Yeah. So he has to break these down for a second. Alright, so... I have so much shit!
Okay, so I could put adder down there. Why don't we just do that? Let's get death adder out there. And then we can use a different squirrel to pop. Got too many cards, dude. Okay, so, whatever I put there attacks first, so we're going to put a squirrel and we're going to upgrade him to a stoat. I mean, not that it really matters. I could just put the coyote down, right? Because Coyote kills the adder instantly. Or Elk Fawn kills the adder instantly. Let's just... Let's do the Elk Fawn. So I could sacrifice the adder and put something else down, but adder is pretty good. I mean, I don't really know why I would bother to do anything else at this point. I mean, Child 13 was good last time. <laughs> Let's stick with what we know. Okay. More cards? No. I think we go this way. We could even kill a card from our deck if we want. Trapper. Or we can get I let's do this. Okay, four attack power means one of the cards needs to have two. That's all. Actually, there's probably a zero, but it's rare. So four power seems like the best bet. Four blood seems really bad because there's like bone cards and shit. Although, no, it's the same, right? It just means because it's bone cards. I think four attack power is the one. This is the way. Easy. Easy clap! Mantis, worker, ant, or elk. Elk that upgrades for two blood. Since I've got three blood squirrels, this elk is way better than it normally would be. Worker ant, on the other hand, okay. Because it has this sigil, it's like Mole Man with few HP. 
Mantis does one extra damage and moves around. Who gets, I think I want the elk. I want the mighty elk. All right. So this is more cards. No, that's items. I only have one empty item slot. So that might be the not the way. I still don't know what time it is. These are all the same. If I open this, it's going to be empty, right? Yeah. So these must be like you get those cards permanently. All right. So I've got the shitty tooth puller device. Maybe I go here. Maybe I go here and kill a card. I mean, it's just this kind of sucks. Like, I kind of want that right there. So I kind of do want to go this way, actually. But then if I go here, I can get pelts, right? But I don't have that many... How do, how do I see my monies? How do I see how many bones are my money? Nine? Is that how many bones I have? So if I win by two, I could maybe get a golden pelt unless the price keeps going up. Multi-attack buffed. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Double damage. I don't know which way I want to go here. Uh... I, th I think I want to make sure I can hit this, even even if that's not the way. I mean, we have to we have to know what that does. They're all flight blockers. I am not that worried about flight blockers. All right, B. And uh, bullfrog. So I think I get stowed out and child thirteen out with stowed, right? Wait. Is okay. Hold the fuck on. Okay, we're gonna put we're gonna put child thirteen here, stoat here, because I actually don't remember if I put a guy here, does this guy move in and then hit the guy and so he'll die? I kind of don't know. All right, here we go. We go squirrel. Watch this shit. Uh, stoat. <laughs> Child 13 and wolf. All right. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Now we're gaming, we just didn't win that many teeth by winning too soon. <laughs> Bullfrog, Rattler. Does that mean it costs a tooth? Or what is the mushroom? Is that a mushroom? Does this mean I already have these cards? I don't want any of these. Mantis, River Snapper, Bloodhound. I mean, Bloodhound could be good. Or Mantis. Someone was saying Mantis buffed is pretty good. 
So we could bring the mantis. If the campfire is an extra attack. All right, let's do mantis. In honor of my kung fu style, we we're doing mantis. Okay, well, I could go here and hope to buff the mantis, or I could go here. The thing is, this is this is the best event, right? Like, you always, always, always want to go here if you can. Mantis soul into another card. That is true. All right. So... What do we want to... Uh, okay. Child third... Eh, our infinity blade is fine. I think we sacrifice Mantis, right? I think that that is the way. Um, yeah, we put that on a wolf. Or something that does a lot of damage. Or even... Like... Maybe Child 13, because Child 13 grows up to do damage, right? He doesn't right now. But putting it on Wolf makes our deck just stronger, broadly speaking, right? I mean, it always makes our deck stronger. It's just... Yeah, we're just going to do a Wolf. Will it overwrite the Infinity? I don't believe it does. I think it only adds... All right, we've got we've got our good mantis wolf, dude. Unfortunately, I can't play it. Oh no. Yeah, it'll win right here, right? Dude, this is so good. The fact that we have 3 blood squirrel and can just play this wolf instantly, right? You should get extra teeth for a one shot like that. Um What was the freaking cave again? We just did that and I already don't remember. Was that where we got the the stamp? Oh, the trials. And that just gives us a card. We don't need more cards. But then our other choice is for a card. So we get a card either way. What happens if I fail the trials? I'll sacrifice a card next. Yeah. I feel like I want to do cave, right? Because those cards are better. Let's see. And I don't mind if I don't get more cards. I might have got too many cards. Trial of Bones. That's. Trial of Bones is stupid. Oh, fuck. I think we're not going to get a card. Um. Trial of Kin, two of the three. That's not going to happen. Bones. I think it's got to be blood cost. Okay, all of our things cost one. One, two, three. We have three. We have a 33% chance of passing Trial of... Oh wait, that's not, there is no blood cost. Hold on, six health. Uh, two, five, seven, nine, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 20, divided by nine is two point. Oh, I think, I think we're good on the health trial, probably. <laughs> Easy. Easy clap. Beehive, Warren, Spectre, or Elk Fawn. 
Which of these would we want to sacrifice into another card? Does this mean it gives you four bones when it dies? Rabbit hole. A rabbit is created in your hand. Zero power, one health. I don't really care about that. It's good for blocking things. Four bones. That could help, except we don't have a lot of bone cards. A bee. We could use some bees, honestly. If we put beehive on our mantis wolf... <laughs> like, why wouldn't we put beehive on our mantis wolf, right? Or we could put poop upgrade on our mantis wolf. Hmm. Between beehive and poop upgrade... I don't actually know. Poop power is very useful. Yeah, but so is generating bees. And flight. Like, I don't have that much in the way of flight cards. Okay, question. Is flight compatible with Mantis? I guess so. So, like, Mantis flight means you don't even give a shit who's in the columns. You're just dealing damage. Like, that seems brutal, dude. It would, be, yeah, and flying blockers could block it, but if you're attacking in two columns every turn, then there would have to be flight blockers in each one, and you probably kill them both in one turn anyway, right? Because the wolf does three. All right. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I didn't get that one. Maybe, maybe you only can do things that don't have patches on them. I think we do Elk Fawn, right? Or Kingfisher. Okay, we could have, we could have Flight on this wolf. Yeah, Mantis Wolf isn't here. Yeah, if I if I put this on this wolf, that's fucking badass, right? Flight and it doesn't get attacked. It just dives underwater. So you just you just deal 3 damage per turn permanently. Flying wolves. All right. Good thing I remember that this is the sacrifice one. Um, all right, Kingfisher. Sometimes you actually want to use the wolf to kill an enemy. I have another wolf, though. <laughs> I have another wolf. That's the double mantis fucking wolf. So... We're just, we're going to try this. All right. We could go hard battle, which I don't know what Super Mario Mushroom Land is. Should we go there? Or maybe we want another one of these to consolidate our cards more. Okay, if we want to go to Super Mario Mushroom Land and learn what that even is, we have to go left. Otherwise, this is fine.
I mean, do I do this as a learning? This is probably boss battle, right? Do I do this as a learning experience? It's probably good, right? Because it's gated behind this. But I, I like this a lot. All right, let's, let's learn about Super Mario Mushroom Land. Flight blockers. Oh, my flight wolf. Mantis Wolf, dude. Mantis Wolf is gonna f Like, I just win, right? Don't I just win? Instantly? I mean, it seems kind of OP if you ask me. <laughs> like, why is that in the game? Fisher, Bullfrog, Coyote. I don't care that much about any of these. Bullfrog, Corpse Maggots, I'm playing Binding of Isaac. That sounds really good. It's expensive, but I don't have that many bone cards. Cockroach seems... I'm going to do this. You know, maybe we'll be able to combine that. Okay, what's Super Mario Mushroom Land? Uh oh, I don't know about this. Two of the same creatures? Aside from wolves, I don't know... I don't know what I... Oh, fuck. I mean, okay, do I jeopardize my game-winning combo? Because I have literally no idea what's going to happen. I have l literally no idea. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Does it like... Holy Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very balanced card. So, squirrel. So we lay down smoke. Oh wait, smoke won't help with Kingfisher. We lay down squirrel, child 13, and then bullfrog to flight block that guy. And then this, the elk fawn in the end. Or maybe smoke. Smoke in the end, right? No, not sacrifice. I want him to steal smoke. Right, so we use child 13 to get our flight block. Oh, he's not stealing cards. Does he not steal in the first round? I 
I forgot that I can just indefinitely keep using this guy. So if I pick Squirrel, he'll steal the Squirrel, and it'll give my child 13 time to grow. Or I could just put Smoke. Let's see if he steals that. Okay. Steal Smoke, please. Thank you. Oh, I didn't realize that that would end the thing. All right, well. This kind of sucks. Wait, Corpse Maggot's automatically played? <laughs> Fuck, what do I do? Child 13... Oh, Child 13 does not grow up. Fuck, and Smoke is in the wrong column. I'm so hosed, guys. Can't fucking do anything. What does this do? Oh, the hook? Should I hook a bait bucket? If I hook a bait bucket... Then he'll kill the bait bucket. It'll turn into one of those guys. Or I just hook the shark. It's a good point. But the thing is... No, hooking a bait bucket is better. Because the bait bucket will turn into a shark, right? So I get the bait bucket off the board, and then it becomes my fucking shark. Yeah, I could also use whatever this is. Hooking shark is better. Why? I guess I can, like, not... I, I'm not going to pop these ever, I guess, right? So I just sit here and do damage is better. Sacrifice child 13. I, child 13 stays on the board when sacrificed. All right? So child 13 was, I guess, was only good before because he also had the clock. I don't know. Um, we could learn what the slime does. He has to use something that isn't a bait bucket. Yeah, but he has these guys. That's what I'm saying is this guy would attack a bait bucket down here, right? And turn it into my thing. How, how is that not correct? Yeah, all right. Um, anyway, I think, um, I think what we're gonna do, maybe we hook this guy, because I don't know what this does. We hook this guy, and then we're just winning, right? Then he does no damage next turn. He probably kills this guy. I don't remember how many damage these do, but it's at least two, right? So he kills corpse maggots. Right. Okay. 
And then nothing happens when he kills that. And then I could play Stoat there or something. Oh, they do four. Yeah. All right. That's just that's the that that is the way. Oh, my GGs. Mantis God. Oh, bro. <laughs> I need to put that on my wolf geck. I mean, come on, guys. How... How am I going to fucking do anything but Mantis God? Okay. So, kill a card... Trapper, right? Or items. Problem is, I kept the stupid ass tooth. I should use this tooth puller. Oh, wait. There's a Mario mushroom place up here. Okay. Which means if I get a card here or here that are, matches one that I already have, then we can mushroom the shit out of it. What if I get another wolf? Um, how is this my entire hand? That's nutty. Okay, we're not going to get another stoat. We're not going to get another stink bug. Like, this is weird because you need another card that cuz this just combines right oh it adds it adds the attack as well right so like if i get another elk i get a four attack elk so elk elk fawn mantis god of course child 13 i don't think i would get any benefit from unless we can upgrade it and there's no there's no campfire. Let's just see what happens here, and we'll use that to decide. Grizzly, I that is awesome combined with uh my three like I just get that grizzly on the board immediately with a squirrel, right? Moose buck. I like grizzly better, honestly, but okay. River snapper, okay. What do you guys think? Do I take Grizzly or do I reroll? Child 13 is rare. I already saw a second one that I turned down. What do you guys think? Grizzly? Grizzly? Yeah, we'll do Grizzly. Grizzly's badass. All right, so now I could choose to kill a card, right, and then go up here. I'm not very excited about any of this, right? I don't know if I want to kill a card right now. Or we can get an item to replace our fish hook. Sadly, I didn't spend this fucking thing. Um, and then a tougher battle, and then we can get a card. If we get a card here that matches one of ours, that's good, because then we know we have good hybrid potential. I think we're going for Mario Mushroom Land. All right. Do I want coin, bo coin bones, the Japanese fan, or the time? Time is pretty good. Japanese fan is also pretty good, except I have a flying mantis wolf, so who gives a shit? 
I think it's time. Problem is, I don't know what the slime does. Alright. He's pooping! It doesn't matter, because I have so many dudes who do so much damage, you cannot poop on them. Beehive. Elk. Stove. Okay. Maybe I just put... Oh, this guy has seven. Easy, Sag. I mean, maybe I just get elk on the board. And then I worry about stoat next turn. I want to start hitting this guy with the elk. And then... Right. I wish I could have played that beehive, but when we get stowed out, we could play beehive. Somewhere. Moose Buck, I don't know if he can move through here. I don't think so. So maybe this is... I don't know. Is Mole going to jump in front of this guy? And block Moose Buck? Maybe. No. Oh, because he's not played yet or something? Fuck, why... Why did Elk... Oh, I have Moose Buck now. Okay. So what is the state of the union? Moosebuck is going to attack this boulder. I see this means left and this means right. Will he wrap around or is he now in the corner? I mean, that's pretty good if he's taken off for a little bit. So like, um, I think I squirrel, I get stoat out. He reverses. Okay. I don't want Moose Buck to kill Stoat, but Stoat will last. Or I could get him to kill Beehive. But Beehive will die in one turn. Alright, let's just get all this shit out there. All right, so we're going to go squirrel. Actually, we could... Okay, hold on. If I put a guy that's going to attack here, Mole will block it, which will keep this guy from moving, which will keep him attacking this another turn. Right? Do I understand how to play this game? So, like, if I put Stoat here, this guy comes to block Stoat. But then this guy moves up. But he only does one damage. Um, I mean, it's the question is, do I put Stoat here or here? I'm gonna put him here. We're gonna see what happens. Pronghorn attacks diagonally. I know, but, or pronghorn. I know, but he's not. Yeah. Maybe beehive should have gone there. See, if I put beehive here, I can't actually deploy any new cards for a while. Oh, but Moosebuck is... If this guy moves up, now Moosebuck is exposed. Oh, that's kind of bad. That's bad. 
badge. Yeah, all right. Oh, but Moosebuck moved. Oh, yeah. Okay, fuck. Um, I need to do some damage. Now. So, Beehive we can get automatically. Problem is... Oh, Moosebuck is pooped on. So... Stoat hits Mole. Okay. Uh, Moosebuck does two to Pronghorn. Pronghorn attacks Beehive. Okay, which gives me a B in my hand. And Moosebuck attacks this and clears that off. Right? Which means... Which means... I can draw here corpse maggots. Oh, well, corpse maggots is also tactically useful. All right. Hopefully this is good. All right, we have a bee in our hand. Can't really do a lot with that. Um, Moose Buck gets rid of Pronghorn next. Um, I think Bloodhound will then move in. No, when a, a creature is placed. So Bloodhound won't move until I place something. Beehive I could sacrifice, honestly. Because Pronghorn's going to die now. And Moosebuck's going to kill Corpse Maggots. We're, st we're not doing any damage to Moosebuck here, sadly. But we will have three counter damage after this turn, so it's all evened out anyway. Um, so I could sacrifice Beehive for B. <gasps> or I could sacrifice Beehive for Mantis God. That, this is the way. Alright. This guy better fucking kill Pronghorn. I better understand how this game works. Oh, or Mantis God, that's fine. Ah! You mofo! Alright. So, uh, Stoat... Stoat is in trouble. We're actually... Uh, this is kind of grim. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh! Okay, so, uh, yeah, it took a while to get that card, didn't it? Should I just sacrifice? No, I should be patient and wait till next turn. So this is going to do three. This is going to do two. So I'm still up one. This guy's going to heavily damage Stoat. This guy's going to move forward and do two to Moose Buck and poop on him, right? But then I just put fucking Mantis Wolf right here and he just chews through everybody. Actually, no, he does six to each square, so I could just sacrifice both these guys and put the wolf down, right? Actually, no. Why don't I do this? Oh, wait, B doesn't even require a sacrifice. I thought B was one blood. All right, GG's. All right. It's ridiculous, dude. All right. 
So the cave or this? We want to get doubles. Like Bob Odenkirk has doubles. We want to get doubles. Yeah, I want to get teeth, but I'm skipping the trader. Card, you get a reroll. That's true. That's true. Turkey Vulture, Kingfisher, Grizzly. I have a Grizzly! Holy shit, dudes. Are we about to get an 8 damage Grizzly? Is that what we are saying here? Unfortunately... <laughs> focus down on deck mechanics. I don't know what that means. We're gonna do Grizzly. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, no no long-term spoilers, please. Don't don't try to spoil the game. Like I'm enjoying the game now that I kind of understand it. All right. Elk. Turkey vulture that poops on people that fly Oh god, he's doing 3 per round flying with poop. So like I really Okay, but Elk will upgrade probably to get more damage, right? So he'll probably have at least three. So after he's pooped on, he'll have two. But then maybe Mole will jump in front of... I don't know. Um, I think I want to get Elk out. Right? Or do I just do Stoat initially... Let's do the elk. I still don't know what Mr. Slime does. Okay, what did the elk become? Moose Buck. So the problem is Moose Buck fucking still takes two turns to kill this guy. So I need to start, I need to start doing the damage. And the problem is I don't have damage. Um, fuck, he's gonna do four. I can't, I can't survive the next round. Cause I can only do one damage to him with current. Oh, I have a flight blocker actually. Okay. So wait, if I put bullfrog down, If I put Bullfrog down, so so I put Squirrel, and then Stoat, and then Bullfrog, and Stoat is hitting this tree, but who gives a shit? Bullfrog is here, blocking this guy and attacking him. Um, but then this guy still does three damage to me. It's minus one, so I do I take two. Sand glass. Oh, do I still I do have that. I mean I would survive, but um Oh, I guess the mole the mole would block Okay, the problem is I can't even kill the sparrow, because when I put when I put bullfrog here, the mole blocks the bullfrog. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna hourglass and draw a card. Put 
corpse man. Okay. Um, that's not really what I was hoping for, but, um, fuck. So if I hourglass, I still have the same problem that I already had. Good time to pull a tooth. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You know what? That's our insurance policy. Ow. Okay, we're even. We're even, Steven. Dude, having this fucking snowy fur on one of my squares sucks. I just need to bide time until I get a good card. Right? I got really unlucky with this hand. Um, the problem is this motherfucker is doing four damage around. Yeah, Mole, Mole will block the Sparrow. The thing is, um, well, I kind of have to Hourglass now, right? Um, let's just do that so we don't screw up. I don't know what the frickin' slime does. Um, does it, like, clear the board? That would be my guess. Anyway, so the question is how much, like, I could deploy both Stoat and Bullfrog, and then Stoat is good. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's amazing. Actually, Turkey Vulture is dead now before he ever does any more damage. This changes everything. This changes everything. Okay, that hourglass is very powerful. Um, oh, he pushed the tree. That's kind of good and kind of sucks. Okay. So, um... Anything that does more than one damage. Unfortunately, he has the poop power, right? Um, fuck. I kind of need to pull a squirrel. The problem is not... Okay, I could put a flight blocker in front of this guy. And then he's getting pooped down to zero, but then this guy won't do any more damage. And the problem is this guy will do one point of damage per round. And I only have one other square to put something in, but it could be something amazing. Mole won't be able to move. Yeah, but the mole's not going to block anything. Like, I think I... I think I put Bullfrog. I think I s Squirrel, Stoat, Bullfrog. When Bullfrog dies... Because he won't be able to hurt the guy, but he'll flight block. And when Bullfrog dies, Corpse Maggots will show up. But it'll get pooped down to zero also. And that kind of sucks, but I can sacrifice that card. I, this is just my play. I've got to burn through my cards till I get to the better cards, right? The problem is just, if I do play Stoat... Okay. The problem is, I really want the wolf or the grizzly. Either the wolf or the grizzly is a three blood, which means Stoat doesn't actually help me get the wolf or the grizzly. Very much. No, wolf is two. So if, like, if Bullfrog or Corpse Maggots is out, then I could get him with Stoat and one of these. Moose will move the tree over again. Yes. I guess that's good. Moose will attack and then push the tree into the corner. Good about not gatekeeping. I don't know what gatekeeping means, except that people who use that word are my enemies on the internet, so... 
Um, okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do the temporarily block strat. And the question is, do I do it with a squirrel? or? Well, we have to start with a squirrel. Okay. Squirrel there. And then bullfrog goes there. So bullfrog is going to get eaten by turkey vulture. But that means turkey vulture will not do much damage to me. Um, moose buck will hit this and push which means we'll have an open square here and uh, corpse maggots will show up there and be blocking the spot but I can sacrifice it yeah alright it's plausible okay so I could get stoat out if I want Okay, mm, this is very bad. Okay, so Sparrow dies from Moose Buck. But Turkey Vulture does three damage to me. And I can't really avoid it. I can survive three damage, but only barely. So it's got to turn around after that. Um, Corpse Maggots is not going to do anything. This guy's going to attack over him. Okay. I could get Stoat out to kill the mole this turn. Yeah, I think I just have to... See, if I draw a wolf this turn, though, I still can't use it. But I have to draw something, so let's see what we get. Fuck you! Okay. Actually... Okay, I could, I could sacrifice this guy for stoat. And then this guy can poop on this guy, which reduces his damage, which is very good. The problem is then I have no open squares, which is bad, but it might be fine because maybe we just slug it out at this point for a little bit. It's just, uh, I'm still going to take a net two damage, so I'm going to need to do something. Turkey fly over. Yeah, but he's getting pooped on. So he does less. That's the point. Okay. Now, next turn, he does two. I do three. So it starts going back the other way. And Elk Fawn dies. So this is actually very good, right? Am I right about this? So I do three. I kill this. This guy does two back. So I, I go plus one. And uh, can keep burning through my deck. Elk Fawn! This is the... Like, these last two cards are literally... Wolf... And Mantis God, or there's three cards. These last three cards are Wolf, Mantis God, and Grizzly. By the way. That is literally what the fuck those cards are. Okay, so I have to draw. I still am, I'm up, I'm up to this turn, right? So I get four from the, if I do nothing, 
I get four. And he gets two. And then this guy moves in and does one to each of these, but that won't do anything. So I think I have time. The problem is, I can't fucking deploy the Grizzly without sacrificing everything. But that's fine, because that would win. Alright. So these last two cards... Oh no, there's three cards still. Okay. I could just smash it in now. So... Do I just play the Grizzly right now? Like, if I play the Grizzly right now, I have 9 damage. And this guy's no longer pooped on. Let's just do it. I never found out what the slime does. Okay, Kingfisher, I have one of, right? Oh no, I don't have one of any of these because uh, there's no mushrooms. Do I want Raven just to have more flight power? Or do I want Pronghorn so I can sacrifice him? Or do I reroll? Yeah, I don't, I'm not in love with any of these. I mean, th these two are decent, but honestly, maybe we go for another Grizzly. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hmm. Dude, if we get another Mario Mushroom Land with double Moose Bucks, that's fucking awesome, right? Oh wait, I don't have double Moose Buck. I only have single moose buck. Raven sacrifice for grizzly. Raven for grizzly? I could have got the pronghorn double attack. No, if we get... Okay, guys, if we get another sacrifice, it's mantis god for grizzly. All right, that is clearly the move. I think we do Raven. All right. Oh man, there's a sacrifice there. Fuck. I guess if, whoops, if I'd realized that I would have gone that way. But there's one up here. All right, let's get our items refilled. I should find out what the slime does. I think scissors, right? Alright. There should be a power-up that lets you go backward by one. What? Why is this snowy fur still here? Is that there until it gets destroyed? That sucks. Oh, I'm in the mountains. Okay. What have we got? Raven, stink bug, elk, turkey vulture. I think I just put elk to start attacking turkey vulture, right? And then... Or do I... I don't know, Raven or Elk? If I do Raven, then I'm only losing one per turn, right? 
and mole can't block them. Elk far left. So I, I, I go two to three on the first turn, but then he grows up and we'll see what happens. Or I do Raven. Let's try Elk. Mole blocks that bird. No. No, because Mole the bird is flying. He won't he won't get blocked by Mole. Oh, wait, I forgot the elk fucking moves. Okay, so elk now takes out turkey vulture. Okay, that was... I didn't quite know what I was doing there. Um, okay, so I kind of need a squirrel to do anything. So, mole takes... Or moose buck takes this guy out. Um, so, I take one damage next turn. So I could squirrel and get a raven down in front of the mole here. I could get raven versus sparrow here, right? And just be trading damage. I think that's what I'm going to do. Dude, the three blood squirrel is like the ultimate. Okay. Then I just can do stink bug. Do I do this right now? Uh, let's save the poop. We'll save the poop for a bit. So mole stays in the way until I attack an empty square. So really... If I never attack an empty square, Mole will not move, right? Ah, it's only... I, I'm basically going to win already. I don't know. I mean, who knows what he's got up his sleeve. Okay, so I can play this anytime I want. Let's see what's here. <gasps> GG's. Okay, so if I do a squirrel, I mean, okay, if this guy's flying and he does diagonals, if I put him on an edge, that's bad, right? Because he only attacks, he, he won't be able to attack off the board, right? Is that right? So if I put him here, that's bad. But if I sacrifice the raven and put him there, it's fine, right? So we're going to squirrel, because I don't want... I mean, I could sacrifice both of these, but whatever. Like, we're going to put the squirrel there. We're going to do this guy. Oh, fuck. Can I undo? Shit. I meant to do it in the other order. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, it would have been better massive overkill the other way. All right, cave. Okay, we want to go this way because that's the only sacrifice one. I don't have any pelts. Which actually is underrated. If I put poop on something 
strong. That's good. Child 13. Maybe. Mantis God. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mantis God Grizzly, right? It's got to be Mantis God Grizzly. Now we just have to actually get these cards, right? Dude. Okay. Um, I'll just put Grizzly here and I win anyway. <laughs> right? I'll put smoke out just for lulls. So he's saying, he's saying I can buy a card off the board with a wolf pelt. I mean, I just win, right? I kill these three immediately. I'll buy the flyer. Oh wait, the rattler, right? I want to buy this guy off the board. Oh no, he's going to die. So I want to buy this guy. Okay, that's fine. You could choose differently. I'm uh I'm just going to continue to not give a shit. Can I merge the grizzly with another one? I don't know. I don't know how that works. So I'm just gonna get the raven on. And now we have two bones. And uh, see what happens. Wait, why did the guys behind? Oh, that's overflow damage. I forgot about the overflow damage. Strange larva, amalgam, gek. There's got to be a reason to pick gek, right? <laughs> I think I have to pick amalgam. Is strange larva any good? Gek costs zero. Gek is free. Yeah, but I have three blood squirrels. I don't really care about free that much. Yeah, three blood squirrels makes Gek not good, I guess. 
Yeah, let's try this. Like if I put him behind a rock or something. Uh-oh. I think I want this one. Why wouldn't I want this one? I'm full on items. And I have no pelts. Yeah, Gek would be good to put sigils on. That's true. Okay, what have we got? Flight blocker. Infinity blade. It's corpse maggot. Like, combining this with some other card actually could be really good. Like... Yeah, I don't know. If I put this on a strong card that's expensive, then it just comes out of my hand, right? If I have it in my hand. Or Flight... Or Evolve... Maybe Strange Larva. I don't know. Flight blocker, pooping. Flying grizzly. Like, you already win with the grizzly anyway. Like, I don't know if flying grizzly really is going to help. I need to make more. Okay. I have very powerful cards, right? The problem is I might get unlucky and not get those cards. So I have to make the cards that are weak, stronger, in order to increase my survivability until I get my smart bomb cards, right? So let's like think about it this way. Who do we want to make better? Um, If Raven had, I don't know, like Raven Child 13 is pretty good. Like I should get rid of Child 13, right? I should put this on something I actually want to play. That's what I think, right? Like, very, no, I have more cards than this in the deck. It's just the ones the ones that are very powerful are not shown. I can't I can't show you the whole deck, I don't think, right? Can I? No, I can't show you the whole deck. Um no, I have a lot of cards in my deck, it's just they're I feel like I upgrade Raven. Either with Infinity Blade Or Elk Fawn. Like, I want to get rid of these things that I don't care about very much. You'd sacrifice small, Strange Larva? Why not Child 13? Strange Larva seems better than Child 13, right? Or is it not? Did I sacrifice Child 13 before? I think in the previous game. Oh, yeah, he became very strong. I remember that. You'd put infinite sacrifice on strange larva. No, I, I feel like putting upgrade on one of these guys. Like, does this... Okay, let's, let's take our upgrade off strange lava, larva and put it on one of these guys. Raven has 3 HP, so that makes it a good candidate. Pooper guy. Is upgrade... Do we know what this guy upgrades to? I feel like I've seen it before, but I, I think it was just one extra damage. I think it was not good.
But what if I put upgrade on child 13? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. I wonder what corpse maggots does. Upgrade is 1-1, one, one, I see. So really, I do want to put it on this guy. Or this guy. Actually, putting it on my flight. Because if the point of the flight is to do per turn damage... on the card. All right. It's this cabin that I'm playing the game in right now. Wait, is that a cave? Arch? What? doing that one. We're not doing that one. Uh, we can't possibly win any of these. This, this one. Oh, and I can't even look at my deck, right? Yeah, but I need three cards. We're just going to do this. It's three, right? Like, the wolf has this, but nobody else does. Nope. Okay. Flight? Okay, we have some flight. We don't have any pelts. Rare. What does rare mean? I don't have any rare, right? Or is my naysayer card rare? 13. I think flight. I have at least two flight. There. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Black Goat. I don't need that this game as much. I mean, it'll help because I can keep my squirrel in my hand, though, right? And I don't have to draw a squirrel. Boon of the Ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the... What? How is this not GG's by itself? Oh yeah, there's a clock down here. Okay, both of these are GG. I would almost rather have Magpie's Eye, except that this lets me play a squirrel and another thing. I think I just take this, though, right? I mean, these two are, are both GG's. Double draw. Let's do double, double draw.
Dude, it's it's the green man. What? How do I say? I'm just fucking clicking. Oh. Dude. Fix some of this shit. I hope I'm adequately prepared. I hope so too. Dude! Oh, come on, bro. Broski. Mole man amalgam. Wait, amalgam is three three. I think I put Raven behind Mole Man, right? And then smoke behind amalgam. Mole Man is Flight Blocker. Oh fuck, I didn't realize. Okay, so now we can get Stinkbug out. He'll still die in one turn though from Amalgam, so that's not as good. Why am I getting all the shitty cards? Okay, Elk Fawn Okay. Should have gone with Magpie. No, because my deck is getting better over time. Um, so I think I draw a squirrel because I can't do anything without a squirrel, right? Um, what if I just fucking cut up his amalgam. How about that? And then I stink bug his mantis god. This sounds like Binding of Isaac music. How do I fucking aim at my scissors? Oh, it won't let me right now. Okay, let's... Okay, so we're going to cut up the amalgam. We're going to stink bug the mantis god. Oh, wait, I can stink up the Man mantis god anyway. Um, but we'll get... We'll get a squirrel anyway. Just to have it. Okay. Cut up the amalgam. That might have been a waste, but because I could have kept throwing guys in front of that, but whatever. Okay. Stink bug the mantis god. And then we pass. And we'll just hope we can draw better stuff. If we don't, elk is not that bad. Elk with turning into super elk is not that bad. Wait, what? How come he got to do that? Oh, cause I, wait, did I win? I guess cause I won. Okay, so I get elk out right now. 
probably. Let's draw. Okay, I don't want to use this guy yet. Because round three might be harder. And he'll get turned to gold. Right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna elk. And let Mantis, because I want Mantis God to clear this out anyway, right? Otherwise I'm hosed. So uh, we're gonna put elk here. And buy time. my other two items or do I have oh yeah I have fan so if I can get to round three and then just oh fan, this guy wolf already attacks so fan doesn't matter all right let's just get elk out draw a card let's get a spare squirrel because we need to be able to play um Squirrel. Elk. Dude! Oh, he changes characters every time. Wait, what the fuck? I didn't realize that was going to happen. All right. I basically have to play the double wolf here and kill both of these guys. Okay, but that's still not enough. Because that doesn't do any damage. Oh, maybe I just do it here. Maybe I go here and then here and do six. A wolf is flying. Right, so I do 12 and he does five. So I go plus seven. But I lose the wolf, but I know I have grizzly in here. But where are the fish hook? Yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll just pull a squirrel and I'll let him fish hook the squirrel, right? Hook a squirrel? If not, I'll do child 13, right? So I'm just gonna put my wolf over here so Oh no, because he does diagonal. Okay. Um so here. It's fine. Squirrel. Wait, that was the first one? I thought that was the second one. I thought that was why he went gold. Lewis and Reginald? No! So Stoat, Stoat can like block, no, I, I want to put Stoat in front of Mantis God, I guess, because Mantis God is hitting Wolf. I need 
need to block the amalgam? No, I don't. Dude, I'm doing fucking 12 damage. Fuck the amalgams, three damage. I just want to keep the wolf from taking... I don't think the wolf will take damage, but... Uh... Oh, and he never... He never gets the hook, so I still have this squirrel up. Okay, so I can do stoat and then draw another squirrel and play it. Or no, I could do... I could give him child 13 and he won't get it. Or the elk fawn, I don't know. Let's fucking get stoat on the board. Uh, okay, wait. Wolf will hide and not take damage. So basically, I don't need to worry about his fish hook, is what we're saying. Fish hook doesn't matter. Because I'll just, I'll just toast him without the fish hook anyway. Bullfrog, dude. Okay, flight blocker, bullfrog, great. Let's get the stoat on the board. And, okay, we're gonna test my theory that he won't be able to get the stoat, right? Why am I fighting the moon? The moon has 40 hit points. Okay, what the fuck? Moon strike. Each opposing space. So he has one damage of moon strike. I'm fine. Squirrels into its orbit. I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay, Grizzly. I don't have a squirrel though right now. So. Okay, wait, I could, I could stow the elk fawn, I can play corpse maggots, and then I can play grizzly, right? Watch this shit. Oh, but I, I can't, I only get two thirds of the grizzly. It's kind of a waste. I shouldn't have put the stoat there. Sag! Easy Sag! Dude, we don't even get- we're only at two-thirds grizzly power. Why don't I have my naysayer card? Guys. I've pulled my entire deck. Where's my naysayer card? What the fuck? Did I lose that somehow? Uh-oh. 
it's her story. We, it's got her story inside. There's some dice. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but Hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. Just cut out this part. He, n he didn't continue recording after that call. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right, Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. There we go. Yeah. How would you know where to dig exactly? Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be 
a massive waste of All right, that's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time, you gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. He's just like the character going through the trees now. All right, this is it. And now, we dig. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Yeah, not only was it not wrapped, but the little like shielding slider thing was like open and there was mud on it. It was good times. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Is that all of the, the her stories? I mean, we've seen all the footage. Why do I get a pile of poop?
over yet. What happened to Stoat? He's weird looking now. Maybe he was that way. I don't even get to keep my awesome cards. That were fucking awesome, dude. So this gives me a wolf totem. This gives me teeth. Let's put this bit down for a second. Let's go do the clock. So I don't understand why there are three hands, but it was supposed to be 11 o'clock. How do I open the bottom? Squirrel adder. I don't have an adder in my starting deck. Okay, cards. I don't know what that is. Some kind of knife choppy pig head. Or bloods and then fire. I think we have to find out what knife choppy pig head is because there's another one up here. Maybe that wolf statue can go somewhere. Well, it's a it's a totem head, right? Like isn't that No, it's not actually. Hmm. not a totem head. Maybe I have to cut the wolf head off with the totem head knife. Oh. I don't know if I like this. Wait, I have this. So what do I get if I do squirrel adder? Maybe I get a new thing. Corpse maggots adder. We gotta do adder. Okay, what's this? Okay, so I have a squirrel head. Is this persistent across all the games? So I can get flying squirrel. That doesn't do any good. I can get blocking squirrel. Not, those both suck. So I'd rather get the ant head and hope that we get a body later. Oh, or I can hold on. I mean, I might as well make flying squirrels, right? Because I can undo it later. I mean, blocking squirrel I could at least use in theory. 
Blocking squirrel, I could like put a squirrel down to absorb an attack, right? So like... Really sucks compared to my three blood squirrels from last game, let me tell you that. Wait, fuck, where was the adder supposed to be? Was it... I think it was in the corners, right? It was like squirrel adder. So wolf cub. I feel so weak now. I think, oh, I think my fucking dude dies next turn. I didn't think this through. But I'll get another bone. And then I could play stink bug. Oh wait, no, because wolf, wolf Cub hasn't upgraded yet, so Stoke kills him, actually. And then Alpha comes down, and Stoat kills him, too. my money still. Bullfrog. So Stoat kills out. I mean, I just win anyway, right? Wait, why does Stump... Oh, because Alpha. Alpha is powering up the Stump. Interesting. Oh, no, 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 because I do one damage to Alpha. And he does one to me. So Stoat is going to die. So really, I want to play Squirrel and then put the Adder out and kill the Alpha, right? And now I can do Stink Bug anytime I want, but I kind of don't think I need to. Squirrel. Oh shit, I don't have. Alright, I'll put Stink Bug and I'll sacrifice both of those for Wolf. And we'll get like one or two teeth out of it. What happened to my extra teeth? Ah, right, whatever. Okay, cards. Cards. Wait, what was this? Did we establish this is the totem person? I think that was the totem person, right? Okay, so we do we do this.
What does bone X mean? I don't even know what that means. Any bones? Maybe. So I don't have three blood, right? No, it's, it's definitely three costs. We know that. Kaminsky. Oh, but we can sacrifice Kaminsky. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. A guardian that also has sharp quills. That's actually pretty good. So we just need to sacrifice Kaminsky later. All right. Is Kaminsky the, the dude from the video? Okay. So, flight, birds, or wolves. Uh, I mean, maybe I take the wolves. This kind of sucks. Lucky Carter. Yeah, but that's not his real name. Oh, yeah. I am playing as a dude from the video right now. It's true. Um... I don't I don't care about any of these. This just sucks. All right. We're just going to hope we can get a better one later. So what does this knife do? We never found out what the slime did, by the way. I should have done that just to find out. Fuck. Oh, is this the third character? No, it's stink bug just looks different for some reason. Okay. So stink bug can take on one of the coyotes. Oh no, we can't because we don't have bones. So we need to bullfrog a coyote. That's our opening move. And then We'll play the rest later. Now, oh, now we have a bone, so we can do Kaminsky. Kaminsky will block one from a coyote. Reflect one. It's not worth it. But when he dies, I'll get another bone, and then I can stink bug. I don't know. I kind of just don't want to run out of cards. But I also don't want to let this guy get free damage. Wait, no, because he'll die, but I'll have spent a bone, so it won't, it won't really help. Kaminsky kills Coyote? Wait, what? Did I fuck up? Why does Kaminsky... Oh, Coyote has one HP! Oops. Okay, that's good. So I could just play Stink Bug. Stink bug kills a coyote. And then I can get the squirrel out of a jar. 
and then play adder on the other coyote. Let's just do that. Oh fuck. I fucked up. Am I gonna lose now? No. I I sorta of get I take two damage. This guy's gonna kill my fucking squirrel, right? I almost lost the game, guys. I, I could steal. Special dagger. Oh, so this is better than the tooth puller. Let's see what happens. I might have lost. Fuck. I didn't I didn't take that into account. Holy shit. Um Okay, so I have a bone for Kaminsky. Kaminsky does not do direct damage. Um Kaminsky can take out Coyote though. Right? And then we're tied. Fucking wasted a squirrel, though. All right, Kaminsky, do your thing. Um, hope that's right. Um, so now we're even. It's Stinkbug versus Alpha, right? Reach, reach doing one. And now we have Blocker Wolf, which does fucking three damage. Um, so I could just squirrel and get Blocker Wolf on the board, right? And then I think that's the way. Or I could put Adder on the board and just kill that dude, but then that's less damage, so I'm just going to do the wolf. It sucks to sacrifice all my characters, but, you know, GG's. Stoke. We want Totem again because we're gluttons for punishment. Or Trapper. Oh, Trapper and then Totem, right? I don't know. I also need better cards. I don't know, guys. Six. Golden Pelt. I mean, I'm just going to buy all these. Oh, wait. Why don't I just get two golden pelts? Fuck it. We're done. I don't know what those do, but okay. So then I go here. Could have put Squirrel Adder on the board. Yeah, but Adder only does one damage. Okay. Upgrade timer. Wait, if I have, can I make two totems or is it one totem limit? It 
one totem. All right. I mean, I like upgrade better than blocker. Like if I say all my wolves upgrade, that's kind of badass if I can find some wolves. What happens if my squirrels upgrade? Maybe they could be combat squirrels. Oh, you mean for the last move, I could have put squirrel adder on the board. I could upgrade, I have an adder, right? So I could upgrade snake. But snake cards are less frequent. And this is like for an ant strat. I think we're doing wolf. I don't know what the wolf card is. I, I did that early, but I don't. So what the fuck does Golden Pelt do for me? It's just three health. It just absorbs. All right. Kaminsky, Stink Bug, Squirrel. So, um, fuck. Pelt is just a shield. Well, I could use a shield. The problem is this guy is going to attack both of these squares. And I don't have other bones. So I'm going to need to, I'm just going to need to wait and draw. We're just going to take it, take a point of damage. To start. Okay. Hell yeah. Wolf. Now, the problem is I still can't get anything on the board. But, next turn. I do Squirrel, Squirrel, Wolf, and Stink Bug or Kaminsky, because I'll have bones. So we're, we're fine for now. Okay. Right. Okay, so I want to kill that Pronghorn, I think. Wolf can kill him in one turn. And upgrades! Oh, it's Upgrade Wolf. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Squirrel. Squirrel. Dude, I wish I had my three blood squirrels. Wolf. And then, do we do Stink Bug or Kaminsky? I think we do Stink Bug on the Elk Fawn. Masterful. Elder Wolf. I am Elder Wolf. I think we're doing pretty good now. Do I want to kill the fawn? have bones. So I just win at this point. If I get another squirrel, oh, I can't sacrifice the pelt, so... The pelts are actually bad because they're dead weight in your hand. Right. 
Okay. What do you mean squirrel adder? Adder is two blood. Adder costs two blood. Okay, what did we say? We don't we don't want that lady anymore. Well, maybe we do. Like, do I want to keep re-rolling this to get more bloods? Get wolves. Yes, that is true. So this would give us wolves, or does this give us wolves? What is wolf card? What does that mean? So here, if one of the species is wolf, totem lady? Why totem lady? I've got like shit totems. I, I guess I, I could make one better. Okay, I could maybe get a wolf card here. But it's more likely to get one here. Right? And then I could upgrade. Okay, let me put it this way. The reason we want wolf cards is because we have growing wolves. If we get enough of totem that we want to switch to something else, we don't have growing wolves anymore. Or we know that wolf costs two. So if we go here and there's a two pick, we can take the, you know, there's a few things that cost two. Two wolf then mushroom, yeah. Let's see what happens. All right. So plus one attack. <laughs> so I could do one of the wolves. I really want to like plus one Kaminsky, except that we're going to sacrifice Kaminsky. Probably. Um, plus one attack on this guy is pretty good because he can poop if you're pooping someone you want that guy gone right S stoat no because i want to poop things and then damage them down right stoat is a wolf really That's cool. Why does Stoat look so different? Um, he's just been through some things. I'm going to work on upgrading this guy because two bones is very cheap, especially later. And so if I can keep adding to him, then we have good stink power. Stoat is not a wolf, you're telling me. Uh, I'm so sick of this boss. <laughs> so I can stoat. Okay, we want to hit the pack mule as always. 
So we want to put smoke in front of the coyote. And we want a squirrel to get stoat up. Our stoat doesn't have infinity blade, but we can get his damage on the board. The problem is just this boulder sucks. Stoat kills coyote for free? What do you mean? Um, it takes two turns, right? Okay, let's just do... Okay, we'll do... We'll do... We'll get the stowed on the board. Alright. And uh, we'll use smoke next time. Wait, no, fuck. Uh, yeah, no, Stoat doesn't survive. What are we talking about? That's terrible. That was a terrible advice. Okay, but the pack mule will be trapped. No, he won't be turned into gold. He'll be dead. <laughs> but maybe the boulder will be turned into gold. So... We're going to add her the pack mule right now. Oh no, add her is two. Um, but that's actually fine because I think he kills and doesn't that clear the board? No, that just gives me a shitload of cards. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You can't sacrifice smoke, but I can do this. All right, so we have squirrel, sparrow, adder. Okay, this is, we have a lot of bones. He's got an adder, but that adder is just going to eat this boulder forever. Does an adder kill a boulder in one turn? Still would have killed Coyote because I wanted all the cards, dude. Like, if you, if you kill Coyote, then the pack mule can wander around, okay? Right now... Uh, Corpse Maggots is going to kill Coyote. Oh, no. No, he's not. But that's fine. No, it's totally fine, because Coyote's not going to do damage this turn. Adder's not going to do damage. You can't... I thought you couldn't sacrifice smoke. I was pretty sure you couldn't. Maybe that's wrong. Okay. Um, we could get the Sparrow out on the board anytime we want. We could also put Kaminsky. He doesn't do any damage. Um, after, after this guy goes down, we'll put Kaminsky. Or maybe there? I don't know. Maybe we put Kaminsky under Adder. I don't know, guys. Okay. So Kaminsky can take out the adder. He's got a wolf, which is not great. The wolf's going to kill the sparrow. I have another adder, though. Okay, so wait. So Kaminsky can take out this adder, no problem. Um, oh, this is going to kill the wolf cub, actually. So never mind. Unless he upgrades first, which I don't think. So really, we just kind of have this wolf. Can I, can I see 
anything else he has in his hand? Is there other stuff? Um. Anyway. I almost want to sacrifice the adder for a wolf. Oh shit, he's turning everything to gold now. Fuck. I forgot that part. Ha! I didn't realize that would happen before Kaminsky. Fucking sucks, dude. Okay. So I have a lot of bones. Do I have any bone cards? I don't even know. If I do a squirrel, I could definitely play wolf, though. Wolf can kill Bloodhound and grows up, so then I don't care about the adder. Why did the Bloodhound shake? I don't even understand that. All right. I have an elder wolf. Oh, I should have put the pelt down, right? Yeah. Golden pelt. So I can just, it's GG's if I put down this golden pelt. Unless he has an awesome card, right? Because I just do that. Oh no, because it kills it instantly, right? Okay. Um, I think we're still fine. Because, like, literally, I could actually block with this squirrel if I want to. I can just keep squirrel blocking. Like, I just win here. Always knife to seal the deal. I don't know. The douse when its chimes are struck. What does that mean? Okay. So this is a good card for a kind of empty board. Amalgam. Oh man, I think we got to go for the douse, right? Amalgam. Uh... Wait, Amalgam counts as a wolf, right? Because Amalgam's got everything. All right. Plus, if we get two, we can mushroom him. All right, I'm going to warm up some tea. So I think we want to go this way. Oh yeah, we want to go this way and then we'll go here and we'll spend our pelts, right? Fuck, but we want to go here. Maybe not. I need I need a tea.
I feel like we go left, though. When does it fetch? Is this when you draw it? When a card... You, when it's played, you may search your deck for any card. Okay. So combining these with, like, a wolf would be great. I mean, we want one of these two, right? I think we want magpie. The thing is, we're about to skip sacrifice. Uh, okay, health plus two. So we want we want poop guy now to be health plus two, right? Because then he'll block for a lot longer and with his extra damage. See, our plan is working. I don't know why these guys don't like the fire so much. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that, and then. Magpie, we could do Magpie Wolf. No, we want Magpie, okay. We want Magpie with something that is not Wolf. Because if we're gonna mushroom these wolves together, then we want the Magpie to let us pick the wolf. So like, I want to go to Lady to get rid of my pelts, honestly, but I want to do the sacrifice. Um, I have two wolves, so if we mushroom, we'll do the wolves probably first. Um, that said... Yeah, I don't know if Amalgam is a wild card or not. If Amalgam can go with Wolf, then we get an extra HP, right? Then we get a 6-5 instead of a 6-4. Magpie should be on something free. Yeah, or like Kaminsky. A Kaminsky Magpie would actually be not bad, right? Because one bone is almost free. Um, the breed is a watermark on. Oh, I see. Yeah, the face is back here. Oh, so bullfrog counts as a snake, apparently. And then stink bug is like an ant. Yeah, Mushroom is only for identical cards. So I don't know what that means with regard to Amalgam, though. All right, let me warm up some tea.
the general opinion of the game so far. It's good. I like this. I mean, I like this more than any other card game that I remember. I'm not a big fan of card games. Um, but this is probably my favorite card game, I guess. It's just it's confusing in the beginning because it doesn't do a good enough job of clarifying the rules. But once you understand how it works, uh, then it's good. and steeping. Any tips on selling software? No, just make it good. Not sure how to approach making money off it. Um, I mean, if it's good, some people will pay for it. And if some people will pay for it, they might pay a lot for it, right? Like, if it actually provides value to people, like, programmers cost $200,000 a year, right? If you can actually make a programmer's job better, people will pay you $10,000 for the thing per year, easily. So, like, if you just make it good, then you could probably find customers. How many blood points does the tea cost? I don't know. Okay. Um, Battle. Wolf. Squirrel. So Sparrow, we want to take out Sparrow and Kingfisher. Wait, Kingfisher just can't be hurt with anything that I have. Uh... Because Bullfrog will not... You would need a Flying Blocker Kaminsky Porcupine, right? Um, which I don't have. So we're just going to have to out-damage him. Uh, but Sparrow, we could Flying Blocker Bullfrog d d Sparrow. All right, we don't even need to, the Flying Blocker part. Oh, no, yeah, we do. Okay. Or we could just add her the sparrow. Or, okay, let's get the bullfrog out. To block. Why would I? I want to kill the sparrow, though. 
need to kill the sparrow. I need to kill the sparrow. I need to draw a squirrel. And then get the wolf out. Maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, he's not going to kill the bullfrog in one turn. So we're going to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is we get the wolf out on next turn. Yeah. So it's even Steven now, because we get one point of damage each. Okay. So now, I think we go squirrel, squirrel, and then wolf on the sparrow, who instantly kills the sparrow. Or squirrel, bullfrog. I mean, we could also do adder, but let's save the adder. Dude, I miss the three blood squirrel though so much. Okay, so now we take one. But now we're just plowing, we're plowing the damage. Let's see if we get a bones. Golden pelt. Golden pelt will not help us with that guy. It'll help us with River Otter, though. Should I play it? Yeah, because I've got two other spots. All right. So I want like a Kaminsky or something to do a little bit more damage. I mean, I'm winning. Magpie. Oh, when I play Magpie, I get to see what's the next thing. Oh, didn't realize that that would win. Okay, I think I want to go here to get rid of my pelts. The problem is, like, that's another trapper, so I could refill on pelts. What does getting rid of the pelts do for me again? Do I get cards for them? I guess I can get cards for them and, and do a sacrifice later. Alright, let's just try this. Like, I don't really want this, but... Eh. Right. Grizzly! Or Mantis. I mean, we want Grizzly, right? Except we don't have that much blood. We So Grizzly is much harder now. Yeah, Mantis is a one blood, two damage, and we could upgrade Mantis. Wolf, it fits with my totem. We have two wolves right now, though. I'm gonna do Mantis. Alright. Gek. Mole Man. The Douse. Strange Larva. So Mole Man, if we upgrade him with damage at a fire, is good. I get to pick two of these. Gek is free, so that's good, right? to put magpie's effect on that is a good point 
I mean, it depends on me drawing Gek. But yes, I do have a problem right now where all my cards cost blood and I can't get blood, right? So I think I think we need Gek. Um, and one of these between Strange Larva and Mole Man, I'm tempted to do Mole Man. Um, especially if I can give him some damage later. Let's do Mole Man. Okay. Then let's hope we get something good here. Maybe we'll get a bunch of blood. What are these shitty things? Okay, I could get snake upgrades, which actually wouldn't be that bad, except we like our wolf upgrades. Actually, guys, snake upgrades would do bullfrog, adder, gek, and amalgam. It would actually be better than wolf. Squirrel head, I have squirrel head. The three blood is rare. Yeah, I'm not necessarily looking for three blood. I'm looking for like anything. Okay. So this, I don't care about this. So it's like, do I, do I upgrade my snakes? If I say level up snake, I think that's my plus EV move right now. We'll see. We can always switch back later. I, well, we can only adjust these here. But uh, yeah, like once we combine the wolves, the level up is less good on them, right? Anyway. Oh, there's mushroom. So we're going to double our wolves right here, probably. Okay. Except the problem with doubling early is you want you want to make them super OP by having a lot of stamps on them. And if you double and then stamp, you can't stamp again, right? But if you stamp and then double, you can. That said, I would like a double wolf, please. Um, can you only carry one totem? Yes. Uh, B and bullfrog. Bullfrog. All right, what do we got? Mantis. So Mantis can just take out that fucking bee. Adder, who upgrades. Um, stoat. Squirrel. I've never found the third character that they were talking about. Oh, you know what? I think I didn't do all the puzzles now. Let's go and do puzzles after this combat. All right, so we're just gonna do a mantis, it's fine. And uh, now we're at least tied for damage, except mantis will kill this guy next turn.
I could just try and draw a Gek, right? But we'll get, we'll get Stoat on the board. Um, under... So Stoat will beat Bullfrog. <laughs> Dude. So I could do squirrel, squirrel stoat, because mantis kills B and does one more damage. Um, I could do squirrel stoat for adder, who can then kill bullfrog and then upgrade. Except he'll be in the spot to get attacked by Mantis. I don't like that. Let's just save up. We'll sa save save a squirrel. Gek. How how would I know? So now, oh fuck, I didn't realize that that guy would die, oops. Oops, okay, well, um, I could have Adder kill Mantis. I'm being attacked by a bee. I mean, I'm just going to play it safe and take the Mantis out. Because the Adder upgrades. Otherwise, I would take a chance on the deck. Fuck, look at all these bees, though. Alright. Elder Adder. So the Beehive launches a bee every time it gets hit. Fuck. Dude, I'm about to get roasted by bees. Magpie. Could be good. So he's doing three per round to me. I will do two. So we're gonna we're gonna lag by one here. We can use the knife if it gets bad. Wait, why did that put a B in my hand? I don't understand that. So the B is free. I can go B versus B. Why did I get a B? I don't. He got a B also. That's a free B. So I could get the magpie out by using the bee and a squirrel, right? I could magpie this bee and, oh no, the magpie is flying. So literally all this lets me do is draw another card. But, like, what else am I going to do, right? Let's do it. I, I don't know what I want out of this, out of life. Okay, who do I want in this square? Wolf? Pooper? Pooper will take the bee out. I mean, either of these gets rid of the bee. Amalgam? He does damage, but Wolf also does damage. 
See, the problem is I have to play... Oh, I have to play these, guys. That's what I fucking forgot to think about. It's okay. Adder will kill one of the bees, though. Stink bug is free. Oh, yeah. Well, not free, but two bones. You're right. Okay. No, this is good. It is a great draw. Okay. I get a bee. I don't understand why I get a bee, but okay. So now we just keep passing until it's GG's. Trapper, totem, battle, cards, fuck that. Cards, mushroom, oh yeah, no, there's no question. No question. River otter, ringworm. Or turkey vulture. I think I re-roll or I get ringworm for novelty value. Imagine an upgraded ringworm. It would be a very weak ringworm. <laughs> I'm going to take ringworm because it's new. I mean, it counts as an ant, but... Otter is good for sigil. I mean, I have enough com combines that I already want to do. <laughs> Elden Ringworm. Like, what happens when Ringworm dies? I guess we'll find out. Let's, let's, you know, we're learning. It's a new card. All right, mush, mushy mush land. Wonderful. Wolf, wolf. Do it. All right, now this guy's got some mergers all over the place. Amalgam Adder. So we've got a submerging flying bee. So I will never do any, be able to do anything about that one point of damage. Um, but the bullfrog I can take out. And so, do I put stoat on bullfrog? I think I do. I think I get stoat out in front of bullfrog. Mant Wait, Mantis can take this out? How? I don't even know how. All right. I forgot to explore the cabin. Good point. We will do that, though. All right. Frickin' bees! All right. So, this guy will take out the bullfrog next turn. Oh no, he won't. He'll have one. Mm. We might use the knife here. Fuck, look at all this shit. How am I ever supposed to kill any of these?
Okay. I can... I could play Magpie on Bullfrog and Scry, right? But, like, I take four damage next turn. So I need to do a shitload of damage to even stay in the game. I can get the wolf out, though. The problem is... I then need to play the wolf, and that's going to take a long time. Let's just start that strat. Of course, I might I might get the wolf anyway, right? Like, that's the thing. Oh, wait, Magpie is flying, so he won't even attack the bullfrog. That kind of sucks. I could do Adder, but then I don't get a Scry. Oh, right. Bullfrog's a flight blocker. Okay. So he will... Magpie will hit... the bullfrog. Amalgam kills the mantis. Why? Is there some rule I don't understand? Like, I don't know how to hit diving guys. Oh, overkill damage. Oh, shit. That's a good point. I won't get the scry from that. And I still lose the round without using the knife. Because I take three damage. Right? And that will kill me. Um, but we could take out these two cards with the amalgam. And he'll upgrade, and then we'll see what the knife does. I don't know if the knife ends the round. I don't know what it does. Um, I could also use the hook. Kill the stoat and put amalgam column four? Why would I put amalgam here? That doesn't make any sense. Well, oh, wait. No, it does, because he would do three damage. Oh, that's an interesting point. If I put Amalgam here, he does three. These guys do... These guys do five. So I stay in the game and don't quite die. But, like, I'm one HP from dying, I think. Right? Oh wait, Mantis isn't flying. Mantis is not flying. So we take one, two, three, four. We only take one damage. I'm gonna do that. Let's see what happens. Right, so what's the plan? The plan is Squirrel, Sacrifice, Squirrel, Stoat for guy over here. Only middle row. Oh, so this flying guy doesn't even attack me? I see. So really we only take three, so it's even Steven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
And then I start winning, actually. Because this guy upgrades. And actually, if I never... If I never kill any of these guys, everybody's blocked. And then I just win the game over time. Right? Like, I just win by one point per round now. could play Kaminsky to pwn the bullfrog, but then the mantis will come in and I'll be taking more damage. Um, I could play the mantis. I don't really see the point. Oh, I could play Magpie behind the stump. And then I scry, right? So I could play Squirrel Kaminsky. And then sacrifice them to put Magpie behind the stump. Right? And then... Maybe I should have left the stump spot. For value. Then I could like Mole Man because he's a flight blocker and then I basically just completely win. Or I could put Ringworm in front of the bull frog just to see what that does. I could poop the bullfrog and then he doesn't do any damage. That's free. I can get the wolf out. Like, we can do some shit here. Oh, I didn't realize that would win. I thought I was one point. I wanted to kill the ringworm. Fuck, I thought I was one point short. Alright, GG's. I don't have a lot of bone cards. Alright. Here we kill a card, I guess. I don't know if I want to kill a card. I mean... Fuck. Bullfrog, maybe? I mean, honestly, Stoat is kind of useless right now. Kaminsky, we're saving for upgrade. I don't know, guys. I almost would say the opossum I just got. <laughs> Bullfrog is worse than Stoat. Yeah. Let's get rid of Bullfrog. Alright, let's I'm remembering to search the area. Oh, it gives us a bone bonus. Right, which helps us. A bone us. The bone us helps us with other things, which is great. Um, alright, so 
Squirrel adder. Oh, I forgot about that. Firstly. And then did I ever do these? No. I didn't do this one. So the ants do more damage with more ants on the board. The problem is... Okay, so this... This should do four. So how do I get five from four? Does an enemy ant count? No, it's just my ants, right? Four ants. I did this one. Oh yeah, I brute forced them, didn't I? I did do all these, didn't I? Yeah, because they don't... It should look different when you solved it. Yeah, okay, I remember. I remember guessing these. Okay, so... Tooths. Mushrooms. Earth. Candles don't really do anything. We figured this out. Um, so we need to do squirrel adder. Maybe there's another clock time. I don't know what else to do. What is a spoiler policy? Don't tell me major things that are going to ruin the game for me, please. That's the spoiler policy. Decimal five or four, yeah, I don't know. We gotta remember to do squirrel adder, everybody. That's mean. Okay. So I don't have adder. So, Kingfisher, I cannot do a lot about right now. I think, I think I save my squirrel. I think I save everything and don't play. Because I just take a damage. And, uh... Like, I need to go, like, squirrel, squirrel, amalgam, but then he's going to hook the amalgam, so I need, like, an extra fucking thing. Oh, and then smoke. And I could put the amalgam behind this guy, so I just have pure damage. You can't sacrifice smoke. No, but I'll... I'll oh, you can? I see. Oh, do I get the bones for sacrificing smoke? So I could go smoke, squirrel, amalgam behind this guy, and he'll upgrade, and he'll just be dealing four damage per turn. That sounds great. Or I could get magpie and scry.
Oh no, the problem is if I play Amalgam, he'll hook Amalgam, so fuck that. I need one more card. I don't want him to hook my Amalgam. He doesn't hook turn one. Oh, right. You're right. Okay, the question is, Amalgam or Magpie? Magpie lets me get the wolf into my hand. Which is actually better than Amalgam, probably. But I still can't play it yet. And Magpie is weak on damage, so fuck it. Okay, good turn. Good turn. Wait, what? Oh, now he hooks it, but... So if I play a squirrel, he'll just hook the squirrel, right? And maybe it comes over there and blocks this guy? I don't actually know. Oh, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, the fucking bait buckets, dude. What the fuck do I do about the bait buckets? So this amalgam can actually handle one of them. I just leave this squirrel. This guy can take out this... this dude. And then I'll just deal damage into the other side, right? Because bait buckets do not attack. The sharks have submerge. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so if I put a magpie in an off lane, then I scry and get the wolf and put it in the other off lane, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter because I have plenty of time, but... We'll just get the wolf out, and we'll just start dealing damage with the wolf. Oh wait, no I can't, because... I need the blood to play the wolf, but I, I'll have time to get it. Or... I could get this guy's insurance, in case I need to poop this guy. The wolf wins? No, because I can't play the wolf. Oh wait, I can if I sacrifice both of these guys and put them into a... D oh, yeah, 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 okay. Actually, yeah. Let's try this. This feels so stupid to sacrifice my Elder Amalgam, guys. Oh my god. That's insane. It's insane in the membrane. Got a light. Got a light. Oh man. I could double Gek. We could put stuff onto our Gex and then fuse those at mushrooms. Right? I mean, this guy, we're never going to get him on the fucking board. And our wolf is almost as good. That's why it puts a mushroom when you already have one. Because the mushroom people... 
Okay, now the question is, if I upgrade a GEC, does it make it not the same? And I don't think it does. All right, so I think, I think we clearly go this way. I think we clearly get cards and then sacrifice. Wait, can I mushroom this wolf with my combined wolf? I guess I could. So that's actually not that bad of an idea. Because these other cards are very expensive. Or I reroll. Let's try wolf. Okay, and then we're gonna go here. And I don't know what we're gonna do. Should we load up a Gek with something? What if we put Magpie on Gek? If we put Magpie on Gek, though, then we don't really want a double Gek. We would rather keep two single Geks in our deck to have a higher probability of pulling a Gek. Mantis? But we wouldn't put Mantis Sigil on Gek. Let's look at, like, what... I mean, if we could put a Mantis Sigil on a wolf now... Okay, hear, hear me out here. I don't know how far away the next combo station is. Comboing two Gex is not really that good of a move. If I put Mantis on wolf, and then we combine this wolf with this wolf, we have a Mantis 9 damage wolf. Which is fucking insane. Right? And and then we could magpie gek later. wolf is too much. I mean, it was great last time. Magpie Gag helps now. That is a good point. Mantis Amalgam. That is a good point. Mantis Amalgam would not be bad. Because, remember, Amalgam grows up, so we get a 4 times 2 for Mantis. I kind of like Mantis Amalgam. Mantis Gek. Gek does... Hmm. I mean, just Mantis on my double wolf. Well, the thing is, okay, like again, you don't want to have one card that is massively strong because then you get screwed by not pulling that card, right? I would rather have a Mantis Amalgam and a six point wolf than a 12 point wolf.
because that doubles my probability of pulling a really strong card. Now that said, they're both two blood, right? So I would rather have a strong bone card or something like this guy. Mantis on this guy is actually not the worst idea. The thing is, I'll never be able to combine that with anything else, but... Um, Mantis Gek Mushroom gets you a 2 dupe Mantis Gek. Yeah, but like, am I ever going to be able to do that? Then he doesn't kill the card he's pooping on. That is true. That is true. Um, don't mushroom gex mushroom wolves. I don't know. I This wolf is good enough. Like, I think you want to use mushrooms to... Okay, the problem with mushrooming gex, guys is that the value of Gek is that it gives me free draws, right? A Gek acts as a squirrel that can also attack and live for a round, right? I want two of those, okay? If I combine them to get just one, then I've halved the number of, of zero cost draws in my hand, right? That's not good. So I would rather Mantis Gek and not combine it, for example, right? Because then I have damage that I can play for free. Right? If I Mantis Gek, I get double damage on the Gek and I get a free cost. Mantis on Ringworm. I don't know what Ringworm does. I have no reason... I should play Ringworm more and get it killed, though. Okay, hold on. I'm overthinking. I've been thinking about Mantis a lot, but what, what else could we do? So Mantis, we could get rid of. Mole Man, uh, he's actually kind of useful. Magpie, that's the other one we could do right now. Because Magpie is really expensive. Magpie Gek, I think, is maybe the play. Right? Because then I get a scry and then I can sacrifice the gek. I'm feeling magpie gek. That said, that's not really going to combine, because like I said, I don't think I want to combine. Fuck, there's a mushroom right there. If I had known that, I would have maybe done something different. We might, we might be skipping that mushroom for now. We might be skipping that mushroom. To just get another combo for now, and then we'll mushroom later. Elk fawn, elk fawn, elk fawn. Opossum. Kaminsky. Okay, Kaminsky. Well, okay. So we can squirrel stoat on one of the elk fawns. Then we Kaminsky this one. And then the other one's blocked by a boulder for now. You want to kill it with possum? Why? Oh, because the possum stays alive. But I won't have two bones. I only have one bone. Oh, no, I will, because I'll have two, because of squirrel. Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, so now, and then this guy stays alive. Ding. Fuck. I didn't realize that that would happen. Okay, well, we'll put Kaminsky. Kaminsky will take down the Elk Fawn. This guy will take down this Elk Fawn. It's fine. Yeah. 
Gek. All right. Um, let's actually use Kaminsky first. Cause fuck it. Oh, he got bit. He got older. Damn it. I, I needed to Kaminsky him first. Oh my god. All right. Well. Okay, Gek grows up. We're gonna put Gek behind the tree so he has time to grow. I'm gonna draw a squirrel so that I, uh... have some fuel. Okay, ringworm. We could have the ringworm used as a blocker and just have it get killed and see what happens. Um, Mole Man would be great right now to block these fucking elks. Um, Mantis Amalgam could just kill that elk right now. Um, problem is getting him on the board. Wolf. Um, we'll put Wolf on the board next turn. Or we could just poop on this guy. We could just poop on the elk, right? We don't have two bones yet. Okay, wait. Next turn. If I pause for a turn, Stoat's gonna get killed, right? Oh, I can't, I can't look around. Stoat's gonna get killed after, no, he won't, because he kills the elk fawn, but whatever's behind the elk fawn probably hits him, right? Um, Gek is going to do one damage. No, to the... Tr oh, no, he's flying. So he's going to do one damage. Um, elk will do two. I don't think this is flying. I think that's another elk fawn, but I can't fucking tell. Um, so we take two damage, which I think we can survive. We do one, so we net one. And... Um, I think we're okay, no matter what. It's a flying blocker. Oh, the tree is a flying blocker, damn it. Okay, so we take two damage, but I think we can survive. I wish I could look right now, but I can't. Um, I don't know, do we get wolf out? Is that the play? Cause Stoat's gonna die, Boulder's gonna clear. I can draw a second squirrel next turn and I have one in my hand because I drew one so I can go squirrel squirrel well and well when stoat dies I'll get a bone as well so maybe I could get pooper instead I don't know we'll just get wolf out or no if we get pooper out we can just play him no matter what we don't need the squirrels even and we can use the squirrel for something else I don't know guys like I thought this gek was gonna be tanky pooper Okay, I can squirrel for wolf this turn, and wolf can deal direct damage next turn. I mean... The thing is, Gak is going to upgrade, and then in two turns he'll be doing direct damage anyway. That's too long. Like, I'm going to be done before that, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not. Elk will move. 
No, Elk won't move because he can't move. He's trapped. Oh, this elk will move. I see. This will open. That elk will move. So, Wolf is not a very speedy... I think we keep Pooper in here. See, I wish I had something that I could play right now. I mean, I could play the Gek. <laughs> I could play the Ringworm and see what happens. That just seems like such a waste. I don't know, guys. I'm starting to get tired. I also have items. It's true. Um... Let's get to Wolf. Wolf is going to own some guys. Alright, so... Now we pass. We're going to draw a squirrel next turn and wolf out. Oh, I didn't even realize I was ahead, so we're fine. We're totally fine. Okay. So Elder Gak is just chilling. I could sacrifice him and it's fine, actually. So I don't even have to draw a squirrel. I could draw something else. Oh, the thing is, I do... I do want something up besides Wolf, because I'm going to tank damage otherwise. I'm actually going to take a lot of damage. I didn't think of that. It's fine, though. Because I'm still ahead. Draw a card. We're going to draw one of these, because we can play the wolf no matter what. Mantis. Mantis is not bad for next turn. Alright, so let's do this. Squirrel. Oh, he grew up. Fuck. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Okay. This is scary. Because I absolutely have to do damage this turn. Okay. Wolf takes Elk out. And Mantis with a Squirrel can then do two. Because it goes left to right. And then this Elk will do two. So we'll, e we'll be even, right? And then he'll move and Wolf will take care of him next turn. I should consider the knife... No, I put... Oh! No, Mantis does two, and then Elk does zero, because he hits Mantis and kills him. And then from then on... Yeah, okay, no, we're good. We're good. We have Sacrificial Mantis. Okay, what is this? Pronghorn. Okay, we're fine now. So we take out the elk. Oh, we're still behind more than we would like. But I know we have some bone cards in here. Oh, the problem is if Pronghorn can get on the board, which he will, he will do one damage, and that might be GG's, right? No, it's not. Okay. It's fine. And Pronghorn also moves. That's kind of bad. I could finally do Squirrel Adder. That's true, but the wolf is in one of the squares. 
unfortunately. Okay, so now I just win. Sacrifice the wolf to do squirrel adder? Are you nuts? I'm about to win. If I do squirrel adder, I lose. Well, no, I could tank it. Actually, no, I can't. I can't do squirrel adder because I need another squirrel. Any fucking way. It's fine though, because I won't. I won't win in one turn. So I win next turn. If I do Squirrel Adder, I don't necessarily win. <laughs> and the Pronghorn can kill my Adder. Yeah, we, we'll do Squirrel Adder later. We'll hope we get more lucky. Mm -hmm. Gek. Maybe I should have played Gek to get the extra tooth. Okay, trap or upgrade? I think we want this more than this right now. Because... What would I combine? Wolf? That's not that good, because this wolf is already really good. I would rather put something on this wolf and then combine. Um, Gek, like I've said, combining Gek is not that good. Except, it would be two points of flying damage, which is not bad. But, I would rather, like, Mantis Amalgam or something. One Gek is upgraded, I know. Oh, you mean I could put the upgrade on... Okay, what would we put on the other Gek, though? I don't really see an upgrade that's good for Gek. You, you don't want to waste Kaminsky, necessarily, because he's cheap. I kind of like Mantis Amalgam. Because, like I said, that doubles our number of really good fucking damage cards. Adder, Sigil, and Gek? Why? Well, Adder's expensive. I guess that's the thing. That's true. Adder, Gek is pretty good. If I'm being honest, right? Or even Adder Kaminsky. Mantis Amalgam is better than Adder Gek? I don't know, because the thing is... I have three two-blood cards. Alright. No, Amalgam is two. I have four two-blood cards. I get rid of one of them. Kaminsky has no power. Doesn't matter. If I add her Kaminsky, he'll... If he zero point hits somebody, doesn't he still kill him or no? One of the Gex is flying. Oh, so if we eventually merge the Gex, this would be bad on Gek. Why not get rid of Amalgam's 
cost. What do you mean get rid of his cost? I don't know what that means. You need one power. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Um, Mantis Gek. I mean, that is... That is something. You would buff the six attack wolf. Okay, wait, what are we even talking about here? Hold on. Okay, we're saying we're about to go. What is this guy again? That's the trials guy. The trials HD. This will give us pelts, which is going to give us more fucking cards, but we can get rid of them up here at some cost of not doing trials. Um, so, well, okay, if I can't find something I want to do super bad, maybe I just go there, but, eh, I don't want to go there. Um, Add her with stink bug. The thing is, we already spent an upgrade on stink bug's damage. So if we put insta death on him, we kind of nullify that upgrade that we previously bought. I mean, we could just put it on stoat, right? Because then we get more health and less cost, right? And we make stoat better. The problem is our totem right now. Doesn't our totem like upgrade all snakes right now? Which kind of sucks if we burn the adder. You would Kaminsky Stoat. Maybe. Maybe. I would rather Kaminsky something else that we're going to merge. The like, if I Kaminsky Wolf. Okay, guys. If I Kaminsky Wolf, it's Sag because we're getting rid of this card, but we have some Gex that can do that, right? And then I get a Wolf Guardian Reflecto damage with 9 damage and 6 HP, which is not bad. Change totem to wolf upgrade. Maybe, that, like if we go through another totem land. Adder upgrade isn't that useful since it's got death touch. Good point. Good point. How about Adder Stoat? I'm feeling Adder Stoat. I also see the value of Adder Mantis, but... It's probably hard, like, Adder Mantis is very situational. <laughs> like, Stoat has no power right now. Yeah, we're gonna Adder Stoat, and maybe I'm just bad at the game, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, Alright. Except, wait, no! I don't want to add her stoat because Oh, 
Um, because I want to, uh, I forgot about the thing about we want to combine things that we can merge later. That's the deal. The whole deal is we want to put powers on things that we're going to merge together. So right now that's either Gek or Wolf. And we don't want Gek, so it's Wolf, honestly. So the question is, what do I put on Wolf? Do I put Mantis? We don't put we don't put adder on wolf because that's stupid. Um, Mantis on wolf is GG's. Mantis wolf gives turn one win option. Yeah, but he's already kind of a win card anyway. That's the thing. I mean, maybe not in the late game, but we have a lot of time before the late game. I don't know. Mantis Wolf or Adder Stoat? I feel like Adder Stoat is better because Stoat is kind of bad and Adder is okay but expensive. On the other hand, On the other hand, if I mantis this wolf, he's a six-point wolf for now. So I have two six-point wolves. Until I merge them and get a fucking 24-point wolf, by the way. Right? Because <laughs> I'll have a 12-damage mantis wolf. Assuming these combine. Oh, 18. Oh, right, 18. Yes. You are correct. Still a lot. Like, that's more than is useful. We don't want an 18-point wolf. <laughs> that's stupid. Um, like adder stoat yeah you know I do cuz you know why stoats my buddy that's why it doesn't seem like a flashy move and I'm not I had explicitly wanted to do this strategy of comboing and then merging but uh, yeah um, But if there isn't a really obvious good answer for that, then no. Okay, so we go here, and then I think we turn in our pelts to get a bunch of bitchin' cards. And I guess we go to the... I, I think we're full on items, right? I should have used the knife. Oh no, we have one item slot? Okay, what is going on? Snowy fur, elk fawn, elk fawn, elk fawn. So, stoat... Ringworm. I kind of want to play the ringworm. Just to see what happens. Like, I could body block with a ringworm. Let's just get, let's get Stoat out. And then... Do I pelt? We'll pelt for now. We've got space. Okay, so these... This guy's gonna upgrade. 
Um, this guy's gonna pwn that guy. This guy's gonna upgrade, and then he's gonna have Alpha Wolf. But then this guy will kill Alpha Wolf. I mean, we're kind of fine for a while. I just need to do something about this guy. We could put Ringworm in his way and just see what happens. That's what I'm going to do. Problem is, he's going to grow up into a big elk. But... Gotta live dangerously. I want to. I want to know about ringworm. Okay, ringworm didn't do anything obvious. Now I'm gonna lose. Fuck. We're gonna have to use the knife here because I was stupid. Maybe we'll get a gek or something with some bones. There we go. All right. So, we put this gek down. We scry. So we're even. So, if I just get the wolf, kill, kill. Uh, elk does two damage. Gek does one in the other direction. Have to keep Ringworm on board. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Alright, so... Wolf, I think. Oh shit, I can't play Wolf! Fuck, okay. Oh no, I can! I can sacrifice the Gek. So then I'll take three damage, but I'll have a six damage wolf on the board. Right? Or I could poop on him. That's not that good. Gek is blocked by tree. No, I know, but he's flying. Bro. Do you even inscription? So, I, th I think I do the wolf and I sacrifice everybody. And I'm, I'm gonna take three damage. Oh, tree is anti-fly, damn it. Okay, well, uh, sorry, Gek. Sorry, death touch, man. Okay, or... Do I have any bone guys? Opossum. Pooper. So, yeah. Um, I, I really let this get out of hand. So we're gonna wolf. And take three damage. But, but then... Then we're poning from that point. Just stink bug? No, why stink bug? What? No, cause stink bug goes there. Then I take two damage on the left. Um. And then I take two damage next turn again. Fortunately, this guy will get killed. But I'll be four points in the hole. I mean, you know, obviously I can draw some cards and stuff, but... Stinkbug nerfs. No, I know. But look, Stinkbug it makes me take four from this guy, probably. Wolf... I take, uh, well, I guess we kill Alpha as well. Oh, wait, no, because Stoat will kill Alpha, so this will drop to two, and Stinkbug will drop him to one. 
Shouldn't sacrifice Stoat. Yeah. Well, okay, I guess the point is Stoat will clear out. No, Stoat's gonna die anyway, guys. Guys, Stoat's gonna kill Alpha, which isn't that strong anyway. And then this guy's gonna come in and wreck him. Alpha is bad news? Why? There's no... Alpha's on the edge of the board. He's half power. How's my HP? I think we're even. So I could take five damage. I mean, it doesn't... I could take five damage, right? Or four damage, which I'm in danger of doing if I put Stink Bug here. So, okay, if I put Stink Bug here, it keeps Stoat alive. He hits. Alpha clears. This guy takes out Stoat. Um, stink Bug hits this guy for two. Um, brings him down to one damage. Uh, this guy hits for fucking two. It's very sad. Um, okay, that's one. Wolf, we clear all these guys, which is Sag. Wolf kills this guy. I take two, but Alpha is still up. Oh, so I take three in the first turn. But then Wolf will do a bunch more damage unless these guys move in there, which I don't think they can, right? So with Wolf, I take three damage and then it turns around. Stink bug and Gex stay on the field. That's true. Okay, if I Okay, if I stink bug. That is the advantage, is I don't clear my board, so then I can draw. I can draw something besides a squirrel. And okay, we're gonna try stink bug. Even though I'm really not sure that that's the play, but we're gonna do it. Boom. Alright. So Elder Gek gets rid of the tree in two turns. Okay, we are... It's a little dicey. Okay, if we don't block damage, we lose. Um, so Stink Bug gets rid of Elk. Elder Gek just kind of sits... So we could sacrifice Elder Gek and we're not that sad. And we could use the knife if we have to. Gek! Okay, so Gek. Okay. Gek can get rid of this Elk Fawn, so we take two damage. But we can afford two damage, and then we're good from there on, right? Gek versus Elk? No, because Elk will kill Gek. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What we do is... Okay, well, actually... It depends on what happens, right? Okay, so Gek over here. Gek takes out the Fawn. Stinkbug takes out this guy. Tree's down to one HP. This guy hits us for two. So we're on Death's Door, so to speak. But this guy's going this way, so he's... 
I guess he's going to pop down to Stinkbug. Uh, so then I just have to block this guy next turn, which I could do with a squirrel. And then we're positive HP. Oh, and this will become Elder Gek. Yeah. That, that, that's, that is the way. This is the way. Okay. So, we absolutely cannot take more damage without dealing damage, but we're going to deal four damage next turn. And this guy's only going to deal two. And we're going to delete the tree. So, like, we just win now, right? Put a squirrel. I mean, I'd rather draw a card. It doesn't really matter. Wolf. Well, GG's. Oh, the oh, I forgot even the overflow damage. Okay. Alright. So, Elder Gek is flying. So, he will absorb the damage from Elk. He's going to block Pronghorn. So, I think we just, just sit here and keep fucking doing damage. Opossum. We'll play that. Sure. Why not? Okay, so I want to get rid of my pelts. See, I should have used the knife again anyway, because... <sighs> item refill. Alright. Magpie, porcupine, mole, warren, kingfisher. Kingfisher's not that bad. Or cat. Dude, cat is some mushroom potential, right? C cat is good shit. The mole man, amal- I could- oh, we could double amalgam. Or child 13, that's good. Or we could double Mole Man and get a 12 health fucking Mole Man. Double Amalgam? What if we double Mantis Amalgam? Yeah, we're gonna get more, so... I guess we were saying double wolf isn't really something we want to do. So double amalgam is... I don't know why you guys are saying that's so strong, but okay. It would grow up, regardless of what we have the totem. Oh, I get three of the same. I thought it reshuffled. Okay. So we get these two. <laughs> we get child 13 and mole man. All right. So we need to just get, hit this mushroom and double some shit. Right. Guys, what does the slime do? I'm going to look it up. Because I... Ugh. Uh, it slimes your cards. Lore. Just do... Alright, we're gonna get it. We're just gonna use the slime at some point in this battle, just to find out. That's why we bought it. Okay, turkey vulture. Oh, fuck. We need to kill that turkey vulture. Mole man, wolf, squirrel. Uh, okay, we can get mole man out. Or no, we can get stowed out and just kill the turkey vulture. That is, this is the way.
Wait, oh, I fucked up, guys. Because he attacks first, then Turkey Vulture goes and is going to kill him. So I just killed my fucking stoat. Fuck. Oh, it, oh, it flies. No, it's not going to kill the stoat. Okay. So the problem is we're going to take this damage for a turn. Then it's going to die. All right. Not as bad as I thought. But we really need to start doing damage because of Sparrow and all this stuff. Um, but we can, we can Mole Man. So I think we Squirrel Mole Man to block the damage. But that's empty space. I think I want to manually position him here. I don't think Mole Man will move because flying doesn't count as hitting empty space, right? Alright, it's fine. We're going to block this guy, or we're going to take that guy out. So we're only going to take one point of damage this turn anyway. But let's get our Mole Man out. It's, it's just, it's prudent. I mean, Stoat's doing some work here. I'm just going to draw a squirrel. Stoat will clear. Raven Egg. Elk will come down and hit Stoat, but Stoat will survive. Yeah. So this is scary because we need to start doing some damage, but it's fine. So Elk goes. The problem is this guy will eventually wear down and then we take damage, right? But actually Stoat, Stoat will counter. And then we just need to put someone here who's strong. Yeah, just Wolf and win. Not yet. Because the problem is, I need to sacrifice Mole Man in order to wolf. Oh, no, we'll do it. Let's do it. What's the problem with that? I, there is no problem with that. All right. Child 13. All right. So, I mean, right. so skunk is going to come hit the wolf, but it, we win anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, we want the shrooms. Ant. This, this is not an ant strat. I mean, grizzly, right? <laughs> Except we don't have enough blood. Maybe pronghorn is better. Uh, I mean, we do have, like, cat and stuff, so we could eventually use grizzly. I don't know. I want to re-roll. I think we re-roll. Yeah. 
Reginald? I mean, who doesn't want another thing to spend bones on, right? The bones are their money? Yeah. The bones are their money. All right. So now we have a moral choice to make, even harder than the one in Bioshock. So, pff, look at all these options, guys. Okay, no Gex. Mole Man. Wolf. No, no Wolf. So it's between Mole Man and Amalgam. Now, you guys are telling me Double Amalgam is really good. I kind of don't know why you're saying that, but... I mean, it is 6-6 six, six for two blood, which is good, right? Amalgam, all right. Oh, the totem, right. So he grows up to 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven, eight. Triple wolf? Nah. No, triple, like, I don't want to over strengthen part of my deck, right? What's Knife Man all about? Okay, well, we could play Squirrel Kaminsky and then Amalgam, right? Like, why wouldn't I just do that? And then just out damage him, right? So if I go, if I go Squirrel or or Smoke, right? We could sack Smoke. So okay. Squirrel smoke, and then amalgam right here, and we just win. And then we'll play Kaminsky as a blocker. Anyway. Oh my god! Okay, I didn't bring pelts, actually. Okay, so Raven is gonna die. Wait, no, okay, wait. He won't dive till his first turn, right? So he will get killed. Amalgam kills Raven and Vulture. The Great White is four damage. The Grizzly is four damage. Well, oh, the Great White is a Mantis Great White. Holy fuck. Okay, we, we need that. That's an eight damage. Yeah, Raven won't hide till it plays, and we hit it before it plays, I think. So I think we need to steal the Great White. And then we'll deal with all this other shit. Remove amalgam blocker. What do you mean amalgam blocker? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, you mean if I if I trade for Raven, 
I just hit for six and then I win. Okay. This better be the right thing. Bloodhound only goes when you place someone. I think, right? It won't automatically move into a hole like that. Easy clap. I think we know what we have to get. I think we know which one we have to get. Yeah, always big mantis god. Okay. I want one of these. Fuck yeah. I mean I do have a pelt, but I wanna I want a mantis god something right away. <laughs> right? Oh shit, this is the end of the game again. I do have a pelt. Oh, is that only for that round that it gives you the pelt? Oh no, because I spent it, I traded it. Right, okay. Okay. Um. I mean, we're going here. That's That just is what it is. All right. So... I, let's figure out what we put. So if it's Mantis God, what do we put? Man Reginald? Gek? Mantis God Gek is not that bad. Um, I mean, do we Mantis God Amalgam and just beat the shit out of everybody? Mantis God Stoat? I don't see Stoat here. Stoat already has a stamp, right? So he can't... Like, we know we're going to have to blow up the moon, right? So, Mantis God Amalgam is good for blowing up the moon. That's what I think. Now again, that does make part of our deck way too strong, but we know we're going to need to blow up the moon. The thing is, can we get to the part where we blow up the moon? You had poison guy one shot the moon. That's a good strat. Uh, I don't know. I kind of don't like my deck right now. My deck does not feel like an I went through the full game deck. Possibly because I wasted so much time doing totems. I could Mantis God this wolf, guys. Hear me out. Hear me out. If I Mantis God this wolf, that's a 9 damage wolf. Then I have a 9 damage, a 6 damage, and a 6 damage card. Which gives me a much higher probability of pulling damage. It's not necessarily going to help me blow up the moon that fast, but... The problem is they're all too, too cost, right? But still... And the, only, the problem is this guy only has 2 HP, right? That's the downside to Mantis Godding that wolf. Whereas if I Mantis God the Amalgam, he's like... He's tanky. S 
stink bug mantis guy? I don't think so. No, we can't. Oh, eh. No. Well, he is only two bones. That's the thing. So he can do six damage for two bones. Amalgam or go home. Reginald. Okay, let's. Oh, right. We could do it the other way around. We could Reginald Mantis God or Mantis God Reginald, depending on what we want the cost to be, right? Three bones is not that much. Yeah. The problem with this, though, is he only does three damage then. But it's death, right? It's triple death touch. That actually sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Random gold transforms by boss. I don't know. I do oh, right. I'm kind of feeling Mantis God Reginald. Because then we just spray the death touches. Or who else has it? Somebody else has it. Maybe someone who's not on the list. Only downside is it's a one round play. Um. Why is it a one round play? Stoat has a death touch. Yeah, he's not here. Man, just the whole man. Yeah. I'll think real hard about that. I'm going to Mantis God Reginald. Or... I mean, it's either Mantis God Reginald or... Mantis God Amalgam. Those are like, those are the options. I actually wonder what happens if you Mantis God Mantis. God Reginald, dude. We're just going for optionality. This may be a big mistake. We're gonna see what happens. Knife exclamation point. I don't know. Am I supposed to fucking do something with the knife? Don't fucking tell me things I'm not supposed to know. I think flight is my only hope here. go. <laughs> That's very good. That's meh. Why the fuck would I take that? 
Oh, because it gives me time to draw while I think it has to be this one. Wait, I can get two boons. Does this spend the ring, though? Okay, wait. If I pick this and the magpie's eye, I get to pick which two cards every single time. That is fucking insane. a spoiler to tell you. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. foreshadowing there. Okay. Mole Man Amalgam. So I can't... Okay, I can block Amalgam by putting anybody down here. If I put a really slow guy to... If I put Kaminsky to fight the Mole Man... Oh no, he won't strike... Okay, wait, even though it's zero points, will Mole Man move on Kaminsky? That's a good question. Okay, wait. Mole Man won't move. This actually kind of sucks. Okay, we're gonna do the smoke. We're just gonna put Wolf here. Even though that's stupid, How do we... Yeah. Let's just do that. We're just going to put Wolf here. Um, Mole Man's going to block him. That'll block Amalgam, I think. Or maybe Amalgam moves first. I don't... what happens and then well we could save Kaminsky but we could play him anytime yeah there we go All right. so we can play Kaminsky no matter what um, and he'll kill the mantis god The problem is, uh, the problem is Wolf gets killed by the Amalgam. This sucks. Um, I didn't think this through well enough. Because I was like, oh, it's going to be awesome to block. But maybe that's fine. Because Wolf gets killed by the Amalgam. And then Kaminsky takes out the Mantis God. And now I just get to draw two cards, right? And I, I can draw two of whatever I want. Gold next turn. I don't know. Is it? 
How do I know when he turns gold? Don't put Kaminsky in front of Mantis, why not? Oh, he took his pickaxe out, I see. Oh, it's like an action boss battle. To the left? Why? Because Mantis God's going to attack all three squares. So Kaminsky's going to get killed either way. Why does it matter where he is? Why do I care? You can prevent... Oh, from the square? No. Oh, because it goes left, middle, right. So if I do it on... Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. If I do it on the first one... Right. What do I want? I think I want Amalgam. I don't want to play him yet because I don't want him turned into gold, right? Or maybe just Cat. Maybe I get Cat out there. I mean, do I, do I, because I'm not in danger yet. So maybe I do cat squirrel. Child 13 is better than cat. Yeah. No, but child 13, if I play it. Okay, I don't want to play either of these because they'll get golden. We'll get child 13 in the hand because we want summoning power. Um, and then I'm just going to pull a squirrel for now, right? And then we get child 13 on the board. Like, this is just so OP right now. Okay, so let's get Kaminsky out there too. Vanilla Mantis. It's like vanilla ice. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think it would happen in that order. Alright. God damn it. Alright. <clears throat> we need to own some dudes right now. Let's see what we can do, but uh, like, okay. So this is six, seven. This is like 10 fucking damage. This is a lot. However, um, we can get triple death touch man out of the deck, right? To block these four. And then the question is... Um, just amalgam him in the face.
with my double amalgam. Oh, because I finished the round. That's a that's a risky. Okay, I get two draws though, right? So the problem is, does this guy get cleared off the board? But if he does, then I have Wolf for later. So let's let's do that. Let's take our double amalgam. Our squirrel. Okay. And I'm going to use this opportunity to put a child 13 on the board and hope he doesn't get owned anyway. So we're going to go. Um, we're going to go squirrel. Child 13. Team. Right. Squirrel. Amalgam. And we could even put Mantis just to get him, but we'll wait. Problem is the frickin' gold nugget is cramp champing my hide. Reginald! Okay, we might have to hook Reginald. Because... Elder Amalgam hits the stump, and then Reginald kills the Elder, Elder Amalgam. Oh, Reginald will take the extra. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. So Reginald's dead. Never mind. Reginald's dead. This guy will come clear out the gold nugget. Child 13 will hit the Mantis God. So we just have to block Amalgam here. We, we have to do something about Amalgam. I mean, we could bring out our Reginald, right? Oh, Child 13 has flying. Let me just bring out my Reginald then, right? So Reginald takes care of these, and then these are taken care of as well. I mean, it's kind of stupid not to put him in the middle. That is a little bit of a waste, but like, the problem is anyone else that I put here is gonna get hit by Mantis God. Okay, or, so here's the problem, too. If I don't kill Mantis God, then Mantis God gets a damage in here. Let's just do Reginald. Um, I also need to draw again. So the question is, do I take a squirrel? And the answer is no. Let's pull another... We can always take a squirrel next turn if we need one, right? So I could take Pooper. I think I take Pooper. Okay, I, I almost hit the Ting Tangler without remembering to play Reginald. Alright. I'm almost tempted to use the knife just to figure out what it does. Let's just... I'm gonna have to sacrifice Reginald or something. Oh, he's gonna take the gold nugget. Oh, that's so good. 
That that is perfect. All right, Casey. Um, it doesn't matter. Elder Amag Elder Amalgam is just going to clear Casey off the board, right? I'm just going to draw more cards and chill, right? What do we want in our hand for the moon? Because the moon is going to show up, right? Reginald's going to one-hit the moon. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's him. Ringworm? I could play Ringworm right now just to see. using the knife here because I don't know what the fuck that does. Okay, so it's plus four. Yeah, I can't see that well anymore. What was my other item over here? I had... Don't I have another thing? Oh, fish hook. What if I fish hook the moon? Damn it! I want to fish hook the moon.
squirrel adder. Did I know about this while it was in development? No. I did not. <clears throat> Totem? So we know that Adder is a two-bagger, so we could try to get Adder. Fuck. That sucks. <clears throat> Should have gone the other way. See, the bullfrog is going to get killed by the frickin' porcupine. I think I just take a damage and go for the wolf. Saved it. I shouldn't have put the stink bug out. I have no idea what those pixel art graphics mean. It's related to how many cards I'm holding, maybe, in my hand. That could be pretty good. The problem is I have a bird totem. So I kind of want the sparrow because I have bird totem. That said, this is really good. Maybe. Like, I can get other birds, but I'll never see this again, probably. All right. 
Let's hatch. All right, give me a better totem. Mantis or grow up? I could get Mantis Bird or Evolvo Bird. I think Mantis Bird, right? And then later if I get the wolf head, I get Mantis Wolves. Mantis Bird. Yeah, the problem is I don't have any birds yet. But, uh, like, I just gave up my chance to have a bird. Oh, fuck. All right. Mantis Bird. So pronghorn. See, anywhere I put a guy, he's going to get hit by the fucking pronghorn with no... Like, what? What is that? I guess I'll do... I'll do Stoat, and his job is just to take the hits. job is to trade damage and tank the hits. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. Um, right. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't real- oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I forgot. I didn't see the man- uh, yeah, okay. I didn't think enough. I thought he was just gonna hit the stump. He didn't, but this is fine, because now he will hit the stump and not do anything this turn. And uh, the stoat will put a damage in, and we could put bullfrog here, and then stink bug on this guy. And then the bullfrog will just be wearing that down. Okay, so now we get minus one, minus two. Oh fuck, except both of these guys take a damage, but that's okay. And then this guy comes over here. I mean, you know, it's fine. I didn't wear down the stump like I meant to. Okay, so now I could just wolf this guy, right? I could sack these two. Actually, I could sack these two and wolf them, because with this elf... <clears throat> it'll attack and go here and then get killed. I don't know if it's gonna... yeah, it takes two turns to grow up, right? So this guy should defeat the elf... the elk fawn. I think. face wins. Oh, I guess it did. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. There we go. have that many teeth. Oh, I 
guess I did. It's hard to count sometimes. Okay, so I pretty much want to go here. Except, I don't know if I have anything good. But there's another one up here. So we want to trade the pelts for cards and then transmute again, right? What do we want to do? Like, I think I want to get rid of Bloodhound because he sucks. We could like Bloodhound Stoat. I mean, he does do two damage. That's the only thing. Or we could like Bloodhound Cthulhu. Or Bloodhound Wolf. Oh, Bloodhound Stinkbug, because the Stinkbug goes to the guy who shows up. Automatically. I kind of like Bloodhound Wolf. Because then if we double Wolf Moon... I'd rather do stink bug because wolf you kind of want direct damage right you don't want to be hitting enemies with wolf necessarily so all right Does he move even? Yeah, he'll move even if he doesn't attack. So he'll go there. So I actually want a bullfrog. Or I just wait in wolf, right? Nah. Nah, let's kill this guy. So Stoat, this actually is pretty rough. Uh, okay, so I don't lose. I can wolf pelt this guy. And give me time to get the Stoat out. Wait, I can wolf pelt and draw a squirrel. And then next turn I can squirrel wolf. Or I could do the stoat right now. 
which I don't, I don't prefer. Oh fuck, I didn't think about that that guy would do a damage right now. Okay, so one, I lose if I don't do something here, right? But I can go squirrel, squirrel, wolf, and then we take one damage, but that guy grows up. So maybe it's fine though. Oh fuck. I didn't think of that. That he would grow. I thought he attacked and then grew up, but he grows up and then attacks. Which is brutal, but I win anyway. I think. Okay, let's trade our pelts. Let's see what we get. Hope it's good. I mean, we could put alpha on something, right? Wouldn't that be good? Or we could, do we have a mole man? We could do like mole man porcupine. Alpha is really, I don't know. I mean, it's only one. One damage doesn't seem like a lot. Yeah, the thing is, we don't have a mole man right now, but. Um, okay, or. We do only have one wolf, so if we want a double wolf. We could just buy another wolf. But it's probably, it's not that hard to get a wolf. Mole Man Beehive is not that bad. Like, Beehive synergizes with the Cthulhu card that I have, right? Beehive is too slow. I guess that's true. Isn't Wolf Cub better than Wolf? No, not if I want to combine the cards. I'm feeling Porcupine. Oh, you know what? I forgot to buy birds, by the way, because we have bird totem. Okay, fly, adder, fly. Oh, we need adder for the thing. And we can totem him later anyway, so I think we buy adder. Or, I mean, this is tempting, though. The three blood skunk. Flying adder is worse. I know, but I unlock the story thing if I get another adder. The adder with fly is useless. No, it's not useless. I unlock the fucking story thing. Come on, guys. But that can happen whenever. What is this? Uh. Maybe I should have bought that other wolf cub. A flying blocker. Okay, we already did that. A flying blocker wolf. I don't know. I'm getting too tired. What is this 
one? Oh, this is the Guardian? Yeah. Beehive Bullfrog? We do have another bullfrog. It's just bees aren't don't bees cost one blood to play? That is a good skunk. Bees are free. Oh. Well then bees synergize. That's the thing is bees synergize with uh with our other thing and we have a bullfrog. What if we made a porcupine beehive double bullfrog? That would be pretty good. Probably want to merge something more powerful. But we get multiple merge chances. Okay, well, fucking Mantis God, no. Or Pack Rat. I mean, Pack Rat is valuable. This is, oh man, like a thing that keeps moving and always kills whatever's in the square. That's pretty good. I don't use items anyways, yeah. I mean, what am I going to use items for? Items are for people who are bad at the game. Okay, we've got so... Okay. Bullfrog, porcupine, or mantis god. <laughs> I'm feeling like we do mantis god wolf, right? Just to get some damage on the board. And then we can combine that later. Right? I mean, that's... It's the only real option. <laughs> yeah, the problem is we have to draw a Mantis God Wolf. But we don't have that many cards yet, so... Also, Prospector will fucking turn him to gold. Alright, wait, this isn't Prospector, right? Yeah, it is. So how do I know what round he turns fucking everything to gold? Take his first life. Okay. We're going to play Cthulhu and just learn how it works. Also put stink bug across from coyote. Maybe. Okay. No, because that drops. See, the thing is. Alright. I don't want to drop his. Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. Extra point of damage. And then I'm going to spend my smoke. Here. Okay. 
So the bones are his money. We can stink bug this guy down to one, and then this guy will keep taking hits. mule moved. Oh shit, my Cthulhu's gonna die. Rip. Rip! rip a -rooney. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna be out of cards. Oh, no, I'm not, because I hit the pack mule. Maybe I just win before... I actually don't want to play anything right now. No, because the pack mule is going to have lots of stuff in it. I don't know. Let's get Stoat out. Stoat's my buddy. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize that was going to take it over. All right, well, rip. Rip a Rooney. All right, it gives me time to draw. It's fine. I'm doing a bad job playing the game, though, right now. I'm never going to hit the pack mule now. Porcupine on wolf. So porcupine will take the wolf out. And then I just have to figure out bloodhound, which I won't. I'll take 2 HP off bloodhound. So, another fucking adder, dude. So we gotta take out Butt Hound now, and we'll do that with Mantis Wolf. Oh no, because he killed my dude. Alright. We'll hit Bloodhound with Bullfrog. And then Bullfrog will die. such a bad job here, guys. Oh, shit. I, that's great, actually. I forgot about that. I forgot I could move Bloodhound. So now I made a hole for the mule to go. But I don't think I'll be able to hit him next round. Unless I take the damage in order to do it, but I don't I don't want to do that. There's always the knife. Yeah. Alright. 
I might need to use the knife, guys. Ugh. Maybe not. I can take one more round. I took the squirrel out of the bottle already. I spent it on the Cthulhu. I think we just need Mantis Wolf. That's what I think. Basically just one. I mean, wolf cub is going to grow up, but we're going to do nine damage, so who cares, right? Okay, we were saying Porcupine Mole Man, right? But Child 13 is good too. <laughs> mole Man Chad. I kind of, I want to try Porcupine Mole Man, you know? Let's see what happens with that. The sigils might work. Our average attack, I don't know what that counts as. Maybe it's three. I feel like the sigils is the way. There we go. There we go. Rattler, that's not good because he's only got one HP. Kingfisher with Ant-Man. Or Cthulhu with Trinket. I think this one. And then we could double Cthulhu merge. What happens if, do I get double the cards in my hand? No, that's Sag. Sag! He would get double HP though. These all seem bad, honestly. Oh wait, Kingfisher's a bird. And I have something about birds. But just having a constant flow of items, I would start using the items. Right? So here I can go to the fire now. I could double stink bug again. 
That was that seemed like a good move. I could add one to Mantis Wolf. I could add one to Mole Man. I mean, having a Mole Man that hits is is good. All right, let's do it. Mole Man Strat. I don't know what the odds are. I do not know what the odds are. <laughs> Kingfishers. Cthulhu ought to just be able to eat kingfishers. Okay, we'll stink one of these guys when we can. Um, can't do that yet, but we could... Oh, let's do this and get an item. I have an empty slot. Let's do it. It's going to start paying off today. There we go. Wonderful item. So we're going to take two damage, but we're going to give two damage, so it's fine. Okay. So I could squirrel, no, squirrel. I could squirrel, stoat, and then poop on one of these guys. Right? Oh, but that, that actually takes my damage down. You know, I'm just gonna chill. Wait, River Otter is going to kill Cthulhu. I could take Black Goat. Okay, no. You know what? If I just draw a card, I win. Right? Because that takes me to five. I mean, it's not a very luxurious win. Okay, Trapper. Totem. Merge. Let's do cards and merge. Rat King. Bullfrog. I mean, if we wanted to do the double bullfrog strat, then we can get the second bullfrog, and then we could put the porcupine on him, right? So we we do the porcupine on the bullfrog, and then we have a second bullfrog. I mean, it sounds dumb. Oh, porcupine mole man, no, you're right. Porcupine mole man is better than porcupine bullfrog way better. Okay, no, yes, 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 better. Uh, I don't like any of these. Maybe I'll do Bullfrog just to have it. Oh, reroll, yes, thank you. Duh. Magpie! All right, so we're gonna make porcupine mole man, and then we're gonna we're gonna hope that we could do another mole man at some point. 
I still haven't been using my bird totem like at all, by the way. So two bees. Uh, let's get a bullfrog out. Oh, we don't have a bullfrog. I can get a stoat on the board. I can draw and maybe use my black goat. Oh, I can't draw. Let's just get the stoat out and counter a damage, right? Stoat knife wins fight. I mean... But I can use an item after I get the guy, right? Let's see. I kind of want to save the knife for when I'm actually in trouble. Alright. Maybe we'll use it. Who knows? Who knows? Cthulhu. Oh, it's the wrong one, though. Um. Oh, dude, we have Mantis Wolf, dude. Why don't I get... Oh, I drew. Um. Why don't I just wait this out? We'll take two more damage, which is scary. But then we go Squirrel and Sacrifice Stoat and drop in Mantis Wolf. And we kick everybody's ass. And then we put Stink Bug in as well. Like, that's just how it's going to go. So, we ain't even tripping right here. Okay. Oh, I forgot even that that guy would hit the tree. Okay, now we have this scary thing where there's another fucking bee on the board. Okay, or I could use the goat to get me. The problem is stoat is where I want to put mantis wolf. Right? Sacrifice the stoat, yeah. Just we're still gonna take a damage off this guy back here. But that's fine. Right. And then Cthulhu only has one HP, which kind of sucks. Oh, I didn't even realize it would hit that guy back there. Lol. Okay. How much does knife does four, right? So I'm going to use the knife to open up that slot, actually. And then Mantis Wolf is going to add nine, and I'll just get a ton of money because the bones are his money. All right. Nice.
Wait, what? That one looks special. Why wouldn't I want the cyber eye? I think I want the cyber eye. So I think we would want to go to Mushy Mush next, but... Wait, do I even have things to combine? I hope I do. Kin, health, attack power. I think attack power. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, health? I think health. Six? It means we need an average of two. Our average is more than two, but that's thrown off by Mole Man. Kin? I don't know. That seems hard. is a television stoat. That's great. Let's try health. Fuck. GG's. I could have done a better probability analysis on that. Because the only time I lose is if, well, I don't know, it's not that simple. Okay, two Cthulhus, or two Bullfrogs. So the fact that Cthulhu only has a health of one kind of sucks, honestly. But Bullfrog gets way better. Let's do Bullfrog. We'll think about it later. Beehive Bullfrog with four HP. Is I have to manually load the camera film. Okay. 
So, Stunted Wolf can kill one of these bees. So, so can Stoat. So can Cthulhu, honestly. Let's just get Cthulhu on the board. This is kind of the wrong Cthulhu, right? But, alright. So we're gonna lose a point here, but... Oh no, we're not! We're gonna tie. Yeah, okay. Oh, bullfrog. Look at that bullfrog. Alright, so now... I'm gonna pull a card. And we'll decide what to do. We could kill both these guys. And take one damage. I'm fine with that. Okay. Mantis. We don't like Mantis. Mantis is going to kill Cthulhu. Why does Mantis always come to kill Cthulhu? I don't like it. Okay. Um, this is really annoying, actually. Because that bee is behind a tree where I won't ever be able to hit him. Um, I might, it might be time for the black goat. I might draw and then go for the black goat. Yeah. Okay. If I black goat, I can draw a man. Oh, wait, magpie has mantis. but only one HP. Yeah, I could put the magpie here, it's true. Um, but Cthulhu's gonna hit for four damage, so I don't wanna sacrifice him. Um, Stoat, though, Stoat gets hit by Mantis, but lasts a long time, right? Wait, I win if I put down Stunted Wolf anyway, because I get six points. Oh shit. No, I don't. Fuck. I forgot. I forgot that reduces my score! What the fuck do I do? Oh, it's two. I'm getting tired, guys. It's it's just about bedtime. Okay, I can at least play Stunted Wolf, who will kill Mantis after a turn. So we'll do five. But then we'll take three and lose Cthulhu. That's not a very good trade. Sacrifice Cthulhu? No, because we get three points this turn. If I play anyone else, it's two. 
Yeah, that's true. No, but I can get the black goat. I should have kept the squirrel. Okay, right now it's three damage. If I play Stunted Wolf, it's two plus two for four, and we kill the Mantis next turn. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh, and then we'll take the goat, yeah. Maybe I should have taken the goat and then used it on Magpie, I don't know, guys. Anyway, getting a little too tired to think through all the combos. Okay. We're doing fine. Stunted Wolf is going to get rid of Mantis. And then... I don't know. It doesn't really I mean, we win. It doesn't really matter. I could just be boring and do stoat right here on the B. ringworm I go to mushroom what would I do I would double Cthulhu on the mushroom because Cthulhu's problem is he only has one HP so the first enemy that challenges him kills him if Cthulhu had two HP he could stand up to more um, and honestly that's the only thing I could combine right now anyway right It's a little bit of a waste. Um, the, the alternative, I could campfire. We don't know what the campfire is going to be. Man, I wish I'd gotten another wolf, dude. We could have had a sick mantis wolf. Campfire Cthulhu. Mm. Well, we could do that maybe after we double it. The problem is, if the campfire's damage, then we don't know what. Dude, Mole Man! Fuck yeah. Let's get Mole Man's ass out there. This is, this is the, the time. Or do I just win? Do I just put Mantis Wolf and win? Right? God gives you Mantis Wolf. You 
play Mantis Wolf, right? Now, the problem is I can't let him have Mantis Wolf. I might have to give him a squirrel. Wait, why am I... Oh, yeah. So, he's going to take my squirrel if I play squirrel. No, he won't take anything yet. That's next turn. I didn't realize it was going to be that easy. Amalgam? You guys like Amalgam a lot. Also, we do have a bird totem. Double hit? Why do you say double hit? Oh, because we have Mantis Totem on the birds. Right. Yes. Okay. No, totally. I forgot it was man. I was trying to remember my totem. Like, what was it? All right. So... We want to get... We want to get to one of these two. Right? And it sort of depends on what cards we get. Is there any reason to do the hard encounter? I don't think there is. I think you take the easy encounter. Warren, Moosebuck, Kingfisher. I think I reroll. They suck. Turkey Vulture Naysayer. Taking that. Okay, we get one item. Oh, wait, we have another item. Realize I would have taken the black goat. Right. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Amalgam with mantis amalgam. I mean. Should I just tap my other squirrel and get my mantis? Look at how his shovel's glowing. That's great. Why don't I just win <laughs> with the squirrel? Just I'm feeling Chadly, right? Let's just let's just be a Chad, right? So squirrel, squirrel, amalgam. I mean, I probably should have tried to earn more teeth, but whatever. It's late at night. Okay. Which of these do we want? Do we have cards to combine at all? I don't think we do. I don't think we have a pair. We didn't grow a pair. So, we want to maybe magpie... Magpie naysayer, right? Have a bone cost to scrying. 
Doesn't that sound good? Could combine the pelts. Do you get a super duper card for a mega pelt? Magpie Nace here or Magpie Stoke? I think we Magpie Nace here because the the bone cost. It gives us yeah. That Look, I got my naysayer, but I don't have bones. Oh my god, look at that moose buck. We're gonna have to throw a pelt in front of the moose buck. What if I stole them? What if I steal the mole man? And then we have two and we can combine them later. I can hoot. Oh, I can't, I can't hook yet because he hasn't played him anyway. Um, so I can put pelt here, right? And I can squirrel wolf. Hook only steals temporarily. Oh, I didn't realize. All right. Let's put pelt. That gives us a turn. Um, this is going to give us a bone right here. And you know, the bones are their money. <laughs> And we'll chill. Okay, what are we looking at? Elk fawn, moose buck. So if I steal moose buck, oh, I could just play naysayer right now. Under the Mole Man. And then I can use him to bring other guys in. Actually, I think I just win if I use the fan. But we're not gonna, because it's our last item. Oh no, we got the hook too. Um... Let me just see. We'll use the fan if we get desperate, but uh, let's. Oh. Oh no, because Mole Man is a blocker. So we can't. Fan won't win. Oh, this guy's already flying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's just see what happens. Okay, so... I mean, I could body block with the ringworm, but that's not very good, right? Why don't I put Naysayer here, and then he'll take care of the Elk Fawn next turn. Oh, because Mole Man will move in front of him. Man will move in front. 
front of Wolf. Oh, he'll move twice. Let's see what happens. I do this. Oh, I forgot the scry. Okay. Um Unfortunately, I didn't save up blood for Wolf here. We could get him into the hand. I could get a pelt just to block this for now. And then I could put the ringworm behind the mole man. I could put my own mole man. Anything that costs one, I can actually play. I mean, my own mole man has six HP. won't, uh, he'll still get killed by the moose buck. I could play Stink Bomb. Yeah, he gets killed. Dude, moose buck is actually kind of nasty. play Cthulhu, who's going to be pretty weak. I don't know. I think I play Mole Man. Because he'll go, he'll die eventually after two turns, but he will do four damage to Moosebuck and block his... Yeah. Moose, Mole Man is like playing two golden pelts in a row plus taking away four HP from this guy. He's just too good. So this is the way. And then I could do Ringworm as well. And we'll just see what, if Ringworm hangs out, what happens to him. Oh, well, I didn't realize that would happen. Boy, those guys move a lot. Okay. So actually, I, I forgot this guy would move because I wasn't talking to the hand. So, um, problem is, he's going to hit Naysayer really hard. Um,. Boy, it's like this super war of mole man attrition. Cthulhu. Cthulhu gives me an item and does zero damage. <laughs> but blocks elk fawn. But, oh man, I need to kill the elk fawn. The elk fawn's going to grow up next turn. I could turn these guys into flying. Here's what I'll do. I'll use this guy. I'll, he'll do zero damage. But I need to do three more points. And flying. Two, three, four. We win. Oh no, this guy's a fly blocker. Fuck. There's some grown-up elks and shit. I don't I don't like what I'm seeing here, honestly. Um We kinda have to do something good. Stat. Okay, I could play Cthulhu. 
for one damage. That's not very good. Um, actually, if I play if I play the fan now, we win. No matter what, because we just these both do fly damage and we win. So I'm gonna play this to get an extra uh, get an extra item to fill up from my fan. I could also just play this guy. Just to be sure. We're gonna do all these. Okay, great. Useless item, almost. Um, we could probably win without the fan, but let's do it. All right, what do I want to combine if I were to do it right now? Oh, wait. Yeah, we want to go here and then go back over there. So, um... Let's put something on the stoat, right? We don't really have anything to put on the stoat. I don't think I can actually combine anything right now. But if we win the challenge, we will be able to. sucks okay so if we win this maybe we'll have something to combine otherwise we get more cards I don't really want more cards if we don't win this we can go to the fireplace combine pelts no this is a an ability combiner not like a doubler let's try going here There is no pelt trade on the map, is there? Power, bones, sigils. I think, ah, uh, see we have all this shit. Sigils is pretty random. Power is pretty random, because what if it's pelts? I, none of these are going to be good. Sigils. Wait, four attack power. Wait, it said past. Why? I don't get it. I think we gotta take Mantis Adder, right? Oh, but this doesn't... These are all super cards, so we can't use them as inputs. Like, if I go here, I can't do anything. Oh yeah, pelt thing up here. Yeah, I want to get rid of my pelts, so let's go this way. Right. Who do we buff? What kind of health plus two? I think I think that goes on maybe Cthulhu <laughs> or Cthulhu or um, 
I mean, maybe ringworm, I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe this guy. Maybe mole man. <laughs> maybe my mole man just needs more health. Adder? Yeah. Wolf extra Chad. It's true, because if this guy has more survivability, that's better. Right, let's do it. Oh, reflecto damage. Damn it. Okay. We've just got to pile on our stuff. I mean, we could just send Mole Man in. Oh, he's gonna bounce off the wall and go back. That was a fucked up pelt. Damn it. I, I hosed myself. Oh, maybe not, because the rabbit sticks him in there. Alright. So, Naysayer has bones. These elk fawns are bad news bears. Um... But I basically want to tank this round. He's stuck. He'll come down and do one damage. Mole Man will do one damage, so we're tied. Oh man, Elk grew up though. Oh, I didn't realize Elk, Mole Man. Dude, Mole Man is paying the rent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I get Ringworm out. That gives me two bones. That puts Naysayer out. Oh no, I have two bones. So, I put Naysayer out. He's just putting a damage here. Um, Mole Man's putting a damage, so we're tied. If we don't attack that elk, I'll just let the ringworm grow up right here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot this part. GG's. Um, we're going to get Hyper Wolf. And uh, we have a squirrel. And a naysayer, so... forget that the naysayer gives me scry. Another Cthulhu no. Rattler, Turkey Vulture, Alpha? I don't know. People say Alpha's good. I don't think it's that good. Raven? Oh, we have bird upgrade. Mantis Raven. 
or Mantis Kingfisher. Mantis Kingfisher just lives on the board. Right? Mantis Kingfisher just... is two damage per turn. And what are you going to do about it? Gek. Oh, shit. Oh, the next one wasn't a mushroom. But if we want a mushroom, we could mushroom Mole Man. Dude, if we mushroom Mole Man and get a 12 HP Porcupine Mole Man, that's fucking owns. So here. Kingfisher or Mole Man? What could we put Kingfisher on? <laughs> Kingfisher Amalgam. Right? I mean, that's got to be the play, right? Because he also gets Mantis automatically due to the sigil, right? So that's six damage per turn. And what are you going to do about it? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Boom. He's expensive, but you know, it is what it is. I don't have any bones. Oh, but I can squirrel smoke. Okay. Smoke. Squirrel. <clears throat> that gives me four fucking bones. I can lay out this whole hand. <clears throat> right? Smoke, squirrel. Sacrifice. Oh, no. I don't even need both of them. I sacrifice smoke for a stunted wolf. He just hits the empty space. Then I get Naysayer out. Naysayer attacks this guy. Why does this... Does this guy attack later? I don't know. Naysayer has a lot of HP. And then Stink Bug goes on this guy and takes him down to zero. Attack the trap to get a free help. <clears throat> I see. So maybe we'll put Naysayer over there to get the pelt. What does this one mean? It's got like no attack, but then a one. I think he changes the form later or something. I forgot the scry, guys. Holy crap. So I've got a squirrel, so we can put Hyper Wolf in now. Alright, as we go here, we go. Wait, it killed Naysayer. I didn't realize it would do that. 
I have two pelts. Okay. Uh, Hyper Wolf is going to own all of three of these. All right. I think we get rid of Moose Buck. No, Adder, we're just going to kill. Fuck Adder. I think we take Grizzly. Or no, Great White. We take Great White. And Moose Buck. And then what's he gonna do? It's not. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, I have Hyper Wolf. These guys are all dead. This guy's dead twice. Next round is three. Six. That's kind of a lot, but we have to block this, right? Minus two is four. Um, I think what we do is we play Stink Bug for free right here. And that guy will just die. The Rattler will just die. Right? the elk wouldn't die. Wait, what the fuck happened? Why did... What? Okay. I still win, though. No, cuz... Oh, shit. Okay, no, cuz Stunted Wolf kills elk. Hyper Wolf does six damage. Um, this guy's stinked. He'll die. Oh, and Grizzly does four. I still win? I don't think I do. Because six... Oh, I, I killed Turkey Vulture also. No, I... Yeah, I killed Turkey Vulture. He gives me one HP. So I get... I get three from the wolf. I get one from Stinkbug. That's four. not gonna win but then grizzly kills wolf that's a bad outcome grizzly killing wolf you know what you know what I think about that I'll, I'll tell you what I think about that um, well oh he hasn't played it yet fuck Chump Grizzly every round. Yeah. I mean... I'm sad that Naysayer disappeared, because that was my good action. I'm just going to put Bullfrog on the board. Over here. Just doing damage. Or I could let him get hit and take the bees. Or I could save, I could save for Moose Buck. That's what I really need is Moose Buck to go up against the Grizzly. Alright, Hyper Wolf's gonna die, but... Can I not just play the Great White? Um, I could, if I could afford it. Well, I could play it right now, right? So I could sacrifice all these guys and get 8 damage, right? That would just win the thing. 
I think it would. Let's try it. Hope I did that right. All right, everybody, we're getting toward the end of the thing, but it is nighttime. It is time for me to go to bed. Oh, dude, we got to do Mushroom Mole, man. That's the play. If we, if we get a mushroom. Oh, wait, it's the end. Well, we have to play it out now. Fuck, I didn't think we were at the end. Okay, I don't have any pelts, right? I don't have any items. That was... I wouldn't have picked a mole man. Oh, I have so many mole men now. I didn't realize I already had two. I actually, I don't feel like this is that strong of a hand compared to previously. What if we add her? No, because, ah, oh, fuck. We would lose the Mantis Adder. Mantis Adder is pretty good. So we could Mole Man... Somebody who does damage? It just, it doesn't make sense. So maybe I just take items. The problem is one of my item slots is the stupid tooth pliers. Add her to Gek. The problem is I lose this. I just have to remember my amalgam is super strong. Mole man stoat, just to get rid of a mole man. That's actually not a bad plan. And I can get an item from this, maybe? Anyway? Items might save my ass, though. Well, let's see what happens. Too late. So we're going to mole man... <laughs> Stowed. Mole man, the mole man. Yeah. I mean, this this is pretty questionable, honestly. Maybe I should have taken items. Oh, I still have a fish hook though. Wait, I didn't get the super bonus offer. Oh no, here it is. Wing. Wait, what's that? Waterborne. I forget what this one is. Um, I think wing. Pelts. Gotta be Magpie's Eye. I do have a ring still, right? Like, once I pick it up, I just always have it. Is that correct? So the ring just means I always win this second trial. Like, I always get one boon.
Also, I had ringworm, if that counts as a ring. Eight bones. A black goat. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Grand furs. I mean, I could just take the time to draw from my deck with the grand furs. The goat, really? Yeah, let's do it. Because we actually don't need a lot of cards because we have Scry. So. Oh, I know. I know what the goat does. I've got to watch out for him turning my guys to... to Prospector. Okay, Mole Man, Black Goat. So... So I don't want to play the Adder yet, actually. Because Amalgam will kill him. Actually, no. Because if I put him here, Amalgam won't even see him. So I could put Smoke in front of Amalgam. I could put the Adder here. Or I save it. Because it's not that hard right now, right? Okay, what else could I do? Mole Man Stoke. Yeah, I do I do tank a lot of damage, right? I just don't want the adder to get turned into fucking stone immediately. You know, though, getting rid of their Mole Man would be good, right? So what if I put... What if I put Stunted Wolf here? He attacks here, Mole Man blocks. Adder kills Mole Man. And then Amalgam moves down. Amalgam kills Stunted Wolf. Adder kills Amalgam. Right? Two damage is a kind of a lot to waste, but... We have bigger damage, guys. I mean, I could just leave the black goat on the board and use my squirrel to get the wolf out. Oh, but then I don't get the... Uh, What if I just block this guy with a smoke and see what happens? And I just burn the tongue. Let's just do that. Fuck it. Alright. 
So I could do adder on both these guys now and lose nothing. Except Mantis God will kill him. Um, okay, I could... Well, we can also draw, right? Because I have the goat on the board. We can draw any four bones or less, or any three blood, right? Okay, what do we want? Do I just want to fucking put... No, we don't want Hyper Wolf, because he'll get turned to stone. I want cards that aren't that good yet. Like fucking Cthulhu. Like, Cthulhu can take out Amalgam right now. And I get an item. I think. I think... My items are not full. I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Fuck it. Do I get an item if it, I don't know when it gets turned into a nugget, so we're going to find out. Oh, wait. Is my black goat going to die now? That would suck. Clearing up the slot, no problem. S just sacrifice the black goat for uh, for Cthulhu, right? Because I want to keep cards. We'll find out what happens. Squirrel. All right. So now Mantis God. The problem is he's going to do a lot of damage to me. But it is what it is. Let's see what happens. Could have hooked Amalgam. Alright, that wasn't too bad. So we're through the gold phase. Okay, Amalgam, Amalgam. We could hook one of those now. seems very hard. What do I do here? Well, I get to scry something, right? Now the problem is, I don't... I don't have a lot of sacrifice power, and he's gonna do six damage to me. Which will kill me, but only barely. So if I do anything to help with the damage, which I will, then I'm okay. Um, I mean, honestly, if I'm feeling ballsy, I put Adder here. And, cause these guys, will attack down and the first turn he'll give me two points which will let me survive this and the next turn he just toasts most of the amalgams right or i just steal an amalgam yeah if i kill mole man then he'll kill me next turn yeah so we don't want to kill mole man Okay, the thing is, I can't, I can't actually put Adder out unless I draw us. A... 
no, we like Mole Man. I mean, if we're gonna steal something, we could steal Mantis God. Honestly. Mole Man will move when the Adder attacks. Oh, yes. Um, and he'll block one of these guys. Let's steal Mantis God. Why the fuck not? I can't do this yet. I have to draw. I mean, let's draw. So we have two squirrels. So we can draw whatever the fuck we want. Um, Hyper Wolf. If I put Hyper Wolf under Mole Man, he won't kill him. And we do six... To I think we just want Hyper Wolf. Right? Oh, can't steal the back row. Good point. Good point. So I think we get Hyper Wolf. And then we're just going to wing it from there. We're going to spend both the squirrels to get Hyper Wolf out. The problem is, Hyper Wolf does free Mantis God after two turns. Still need to block damage from back row. What do you mean? No, those, okay. No, because the idea is I do six HP. I do three, knock this guy down to three and three, and then he does three and three, so we're even, right? Then next turn, Hyper Wolf kills both of these guys and the mole, all three of these guys. And then Mantis God comes down and does two points of damage plus one to Wolf. Oh no, Mole Man moves. No, you're right. Oh shit. Wait, Mole Man will then... Hyper Wolf will only do three points of damage. Oh fuck, then I probably lose the game. Okay, that's very bad. I forget, I forget about Mo What if I Mole Man? What if I just have a Mole Man who fights the guys who come down? And then once we're here, we Hyper Wolf. Mole man will die and not do much. No, he'll do um, he'll do a point of damage to each hyper wolf. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, to each amalgam. I don't know, dude. Okay, wait, we could poop on one of these guys. He'll still kill this dude, though. I don't know what to do. Naysayer plus Mole Man? We can't pick two, we can only pick one. Okay, the problem is, I either need to do a bunch of damage or I need to block a bunch of damage. I could go squirrel, naysayer, I forget what I have in my hand now, but I could bring out something relatively mundane and I could do a little bit of damage and mostly block. Like I just need to buy one turn and then I put down Hyperwolf once things are filled. So I think we go Nace here. Hook Mole Man? No, we don't hook Mole Man. Hooking Mole Man frees the fucking Mantis. Oh, but I win with Hyper Wolf. You are correct. 
You are correct. If I hook Mole Man, this is dangerous shit. You're telling me to live very dangerously. But like, okay. I have a squirrel in my hand. I have one in the bottle. I hook Mole Man. I hyper wolf for nine damage. Alright, we're gonna do it. Fuck. I'm dead. Oh no, I can put the wolf here. It's not as good, but yeah, okay. Um, actually, I can sacrifice Mole Man, right? So I can save my bottle squirrel. Or do I keep Mole Man? Should I keep him up? Should I use the bottle squirrel? Keep him, sacrifice him. I'm getting differences of opinion. Let's keep him up. Because I don't want to I don't want to lose due to taking too much damage. So um Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh Hyperwolf. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? It's really interesting. How many, oh shit, we're only on level one? Damn it. Okay, well we've got, hi oh shit, Reginald's gonna kill Hyperwolf. I should have hooked Reginald. Oh yeah, Hyperwolf still does six damage, so we're fine. Who do we want to get on the board? I think we get a squirrel. Or maybe we pull, yeah, let's get, let's get, Naysayer costs bones, right? And that's flight damage, anyway. Oh, I get another scry. I forgot about that. Okay. Mole man, bullfrog, stink bug. Why do people keep saying stink bug for the moon? We have like hypermantis who will one shot the moon. Why do you say stink bug for moon? It doesn't make any sense. Nerfs moon's attack. Okay, whatever. Oh, right, okay. I guess, but by one point? Who cares? Alright. Okay. I guess the problem is... Uh, I actually want the moon to kill some of my guys to free... Free some stuff. Because I have this fucking gold nugget here. I mean, okay, I'll just sacrifice Mole Man. Gek, let's get some Gek going on. Adder on uh, Naysayer and Mole Man. I mean, fuck it. Squirrel.
do not want your disgusting gruel. I've unlocked New Game Plus. Am I trapped in here forever until I new game plus now? I feel like, I feel like that is the thing. Okay, we're not going to do Game Plus now. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you, everybody. We'll play again sometime and see what the new Game Plus is like. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Time, time for bed. See you later.